Every day I'm asked the same old question When is our peak going to start? I answer the same old fucking thing I don't know, soon, TM And then they're mad at me So I'll tell them again And then they laugh at me And we're going around September, maybe Hello? Testing? Testies. Chesties. One, two, three Zs. Four Zs. Five Zs. Six Zs. Seven Zs. Eight Zs. Nine Zs. Hello. Hello, everybody. I stream -o. Yes. I stream. Dragon Havoc, thank you for the sub. Dude, bro, thank you. Night Terrors, thank you. Thank you all for the resubs. Uh, welcome. Today is a beautiful day in Ascension Academy! I think the music is really fucking loud. It is kind of whimsy, but you know, just a little too intense. How's everybody doing? How is everyone? Uh, they already found the coins? That quickly? No way. Alright. What did they say? All right, hold on. All right, they already found the coins. All right, cool, cool. Can't believe Cassie's fucking dead. Here, here. All right, so I added in these. All right, guys, the AA wallet, where the numbers don't matter and you can spawn gold. So, <laughs> basically, you have a total at the bottom that we can, since it's RP, uh, we can give ourselves whatever our quote unquote is in our pocket so I have like if I want 12 gold in my pocket all right uh, we'll make it 12 gold if I want 20 gold I have 20 gold so I have, say I have 20 gold in my pocket now say I want to give somebody five gold I then put this to five it just uh, subtracted five and then I now have a five gold piece now I can give this to another player and they can put it in their wallet and it'll add it to their total, or I can just put it back, and it'll add it back to my wallet. So. They figured, okay, hold on. Hype train, oh my god, thank you so much. All right, they figured, took all of five seconds, they figured out the system fast. Well, then that means we did good. Uh, try me another continent today. I'll have to wait until I get an amp Uh Definitely bringing you guys over to entertainment. Well, I hope you have a good time tonight. We have a lesson tonight. Hopefully, it keeps you entertained. Titillated. What frag? <laughs> Thank you for the 53 months. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Night terrors. Thank you. Thank you. Try. You crazy man for all your subs. You maniac. Thank you, Try. All right. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you for gifting so much. I love you guys. This is the best community ever. I'm not biased. Nope. Um, yeah, also something that you could do with the currency system, which I'll show you guys later at this <laughs> You can also go negative coins. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, I really like the coins, but, you know, you know me, I like stuff like this. Um, well, let's go respawn. Let's get our dev speed, dev speed. Wait, do I have time? Oh, yeah, we do. We got, like, ten minutes to just chat. Ooh, 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 crack, crack, cracking! The crackening! Thank you so much for the subbies and the that boring fellow thank you so much for the resub appreciate you oh my god you guys are so sexy tries giving out 10 so far host for 45 months let's go i got you my man all right well we're we're what is this 2021 20, 2021 20, 21 all right cool all right Oh God! I wish I had loud music in my ears because I'm—I just get so distracted. Okay, loud music. Well, do we have loud music? I only have my stuff. Uh, let's uh do my stuff real quick. Was it 32? I hope this is the right one. Yeah, it is. Uh. Let's pray. Bev doesn't see it. Why not? Playing rough. Don't you see it? I'm fat enough. Why are you constantly shaming? You want yours, keep blaming. You know. Alright. You know. <clears throat> we doing the briar scene today? I don't know, I have to ask. I don't know anything, man. I just exist. Alright, well. Hopefully you guys can hear. Hold on, I'll, I'll turn down just a smidge. I just want a little bit of background music. All right, Minerva will give all the gold. Here, we'll just like put this on. Uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll repeat it, I guess. <laughs> there we go. All right, yo, tossing the coins. Yo, I for you guys are tossing coins. We can spawn the coins. I'll give you one, sir. One. What you do? Of I owe you. What you wanna do? Oh, what they wanna do? Ooh. Stay away. Oh. oh, you don't get down, get funky. Yo, where happened to GM? I gave him a, a fucking flag, and now they no longer come here. What happened? I want to know what happened! Zany, my man, thank you for the, so much for the resub. Appreciate you, 42 months. Ellie, Bunny, thank you so much for the tier 1-y. Appreciate you. Senor Dave, 35 months, I pull up. And I say, what's up, my man? I hope your day is going great. Ugh, you guys are awesome. By the way, we've been watching some, some movies, man, in Discord. We watched, been been watching some interesting stuff lately. Anime, we've been in between seasons, but finally it's starting to come out. Oh shit! Ah oh, shit! Miss Mass Fade. I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I was gonna check out this out. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes sense. I can see why people would like this better. God. May I ask you a question? You. Yes, you. Yes. Yes. Do you prefer no background or background? Well, I turn it off this time instead of the other. Do you do you like this one better? Does this less? Does it hit your frames less? Is this um, more? 
more, it's more less, better. Yes. This is more better. Um. So when I used the the, the mirror last episode, uh -huh. it tanked my frames for like ten seconds. So this was way better. Okay. Well, see. Thank you for your feedback. Appreciate you. Next, since you have a, you must have a shitty. Come with me, sir. I must have you test this thing. Come test it. Test. Oh. Wifes, 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 wifes. Oh, <laughs> that's the the. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna read, you might as gotcha. well read this about wifes. Cool. Oh yeah. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> All right, smooth. Anything you need me to spawn particularly? Yeah, no, this is great. Just, just having you test it since. All right, cool. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, I am concerned. I am concerned. Just whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. What's up? If Pookie's here today, we'll do the uh, flashback. Okay. Sounds good. And just hop on to a to a separate lobby. That makes sense. I can do it. Sounds mm. good. Ma, ma, ma. What time is it? Am I in like... Oh, yeah, man. Time seems to be going slow right now. Hmm. 8.26? Mm -hmm. Kinda, yeah. <sighs> I was told that you figured out my secret. Your secret? <laughs> My dirty little secret. The currency? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. Actually, so so Toonie found it first and then showed me. Ah ha! Ah ha! She is the, uh, the discoverer. So do you guys exchange some coins? Yes. Nice. Nice. I need to remember to use the inventory more. That's the one thing I'm forgetting to use. Oh yeah, it's very handy if if you remember it. But it's an additive, it's not yeah. a mandatory, so it's one of, one of them things. Stealth. It wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Professor K gonna be in the like anywhere in the morning? He can be? I need to talk to him about my hand. Cause I already had wasn't there something? Yes, I thought there was something about that I read briefly as I was getting stuff ready. Uh, I don't want to step on toes on that one, so is it cool that me just be K? Yeah? Oh, yeah, for sure. Alright, All right, then. Okay. Okay. I cool, guess cool. this is what's happening today. What? You should have warned me. Probably be Briar as well today. You should have warned me. For a bit. Dead. Uh, what time? Uh, what time do we want to do this? Uh, let's see. Morning. Oh we have a lesson uh, today. Probably not too late. We have a lesson. Probably Today's after lesson because <coughs> I have to leave to do okay. purple lotus stuff, so I will probably be not here for the entire duration of the day. Okay. It's probably after lesson if you want to do that. We can do it immediately after the lesson. The there, there's the fight after that, but if you're not going to that, then we can do it right in between the that and okay. that. Makes sense. I, I can do that. I could, I could, uh, I could stick with Misty and because uh, my character needs to talk to you me, too about me the being on that late. Too, so. okay. Me being late to the. The duels isn't uh, gonna be a killer, but um, I do want to catch some some of them, uh, and then I can talk well, to you as K after that. FPS, I think, anyway. Um, so uh, I'll do you before the tournament. I'll do you after the tournament. Sounds like a plan. Works for me. Yeah, sure. Alrighty. Cool. Then I, I, then I will not tag along unless you want to in character tell me that you'll. Uh, no, I'll just go to the tournament. Well, I guess you can tag along. That's fine. And then. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Whatever you guys do. Oh, did you also? You're gonna be on your ship. Uh, yes. So after the lesson, I'll just go immediately to the ship uh, and expect you there. Um, He'll be in Discord. You can pop in there if yep. he doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's awesome. Good call. Yeah. It, I'll be your, I'll be your Misty Mar uh, yep. reminder. Yep. Uh, there's hello, a burning hello. ship uh, currently on fire. <laughs> hello. And I'll be there. Sound like a plan. Housekeeping, I'm here to burn your ship. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, I also updated the um, the envy spawners. Oh shit. Oh really? Yeah. If you click it, you can see it. Like new uh, new inventory menu. Yeah, and I also changed the code so it's more performant, basically. Fancy. Holy shit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it all matches the icons that go in your player inventory, so it's all like kind of like synonymous and all works. Yeah. Cutlass. Medicinal food, Mama. drinks. Very intuitive. Good shit. Yeah, Comp. Uh, materials. Comp consolidated the menus. Um, into different because uh, we slightly rearranged the categories a little bit, just slightly. Mm -hmm. Books is my favorite, though. <laughs> Waifus? Do they spawn a waifu? Unfortunately, no. One day. <laughs> One day we'll just have those maids be spawnable. Uh, Ascension Academy map those, extended uh, uh, 2.0. <laughs> Hello. 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 Check out books category. Okay. Ooh, this looks nice. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite. Thanks. Yes. Get fucked. What the yes, fuck? darling. Yeah. Not you. Him. What? You're fine. Yes, darling. Oh Sorry for scaring you last Dude, night. the music is just on repeat. We're just jamming out to this. <laughs> Yo! No use Bobble, love you! Jay! You Hype train! Ace Latin! Uh, Thank you for gifted! Messages. I was very drunk. Arkin! <laughs> Mwah! Oh, no. I woke up slightly hungover oh, today. Angie, no. uh, sad. <laughs> Angie, sad, uh, happy. So, so okay. So up, I need to no. Pookie's uh, not feeling so too well. I need to talk to here, like. Actually. Gotcha. Is there so that's the thing. <laughs> eventually, we'll have this thing. Eventually. Uh, <laughs> depends. Eventually. Eventually. What you're doing today? I'm in a dancing mood today. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My dance mood just died. Eventually. Because <laughs> the main reason why I'm asking is because she's very used. She's built for this kind of shit. Specifically, large, lighted creatures. No, I can't jump far so. enough to elbow check him from the top. Just let your, but you know. From this. the top. Now I need to find uh, the other one. God damn it. From the sky! <laughs> you tried to elbow me? <laughs> I was trying to elbow him! Oh, sorry. Oh, I take that back. Reverse elbow! Oh, wait, this is spawn. Anything happens here. Activates. I think it's about time we gather? What time is it? Yes. 7.30. Ah, uh, well that was fun. Thanks for jamming out with me guys on repeat for a while. Jacob, thank you so much for the 26 months. Appreciate you! Alright. Let's turn on... Ascension Academy music. 
Have you ever wondered what it was like? Oh god, please don't die on me now. Please don't die on me now! Man. Jeez, these coins are just so sexy. Look, look how shiny they are. How did Toonie know? Or do you think Toonie was a secret spy? Was she peeping toming us, Chad? Were they waiting in the shadows? Waiting for the time to strike. Having a lesson before it makes sense because there's less fights. I, I have to ask. Oh my god. <gasps> that shit's an illusion. I was trying to say hello, but this shit just, just. I was trying to say hello, and this shit just sent, sent you straight down to hell. I'm so sleepy. Don't worry about it. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> hello. What's up? Hi, Chip. What you doing? Nothing much. I'm just, yeah. just crawling. Yeah? Just crawling? You feeling like just crawling being... around. You know, being low on the ground's nice. I don't really do it often. I get like a... I become a little shit when I'm on the ground. When I get those little kid yeah. models. Yeah. Yeah, I become like a little, a little shit. It brings out the inner gremlin in you. You, you know? know, when I was younger and like, you know, small, I was a little shit. Yeah. I I can believe it. Really? I can believe it. It wasn't yeah. until the harsh realities of about ten. Used to be in a band. Of course I can believe it. Okay, no, I was actually in my nice phase at that point. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm, sure. Yeah. Of course. Okay, when this, I was. This is it your nice phase? What? This? No, this is my nice phase. I've been in my nice phase since. Hello. A while. You ready to get this shindig started? Let's hold down and go on. No, I've been born ready. Hold on. All right, good. Let's go. <laughs> okay, nice is relative. Many people will say I'm an asshole, but I try. I don't to think be nice. you're an asshole. Thank you. At least I bathe it. I call you friend. Thanks. You slut. <laughs> wow. I love this. Let's go. I need that in here. <laughs> So it ends up working out. I just have to get used to like tilting the joystick to do um, Oh, don't start recording. Start streaming. <clears throat> don't stop running. Don't stop running. Uh, all the potion stuff is in, by the way. Not ours. Yeah, right. Okay. I was just letting you know because it's your is classroom technically. Right. Right, right. There's a possibility. I will not spoil. So all the equipment arrived and has been installed. Just letting you know. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'll, 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 I'll take a look at it, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. All right. Uh, not much for me, but I'm sure they might have a couple things. Um, for me, only a couple techie thingies. Uh, updated the spawners, so a little bit different looking UI there um, and a couple other uh, hidden stuff if, if you find them um, but that's about it um, Balor uh, enjoy uh, that's it for me and I guess you guys we have a class today um, but they'll probably tell you a little bit more on that uh oh okay uh, not much to say today. Yeah, we have a class before the duels, so prepare for that. That'll probably be right after assembly, and then we'll get the duels underway after the class. Yeah. Enjoy today, guys. Go, 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 go. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> we shall ring the bell to start our pee. I'm 
have a quick question. I wasn't here Suffers. when this uh, was implemented, so sure. do these can these three things like disappear and you toggle them, or are they always there? So you can just click the back of your wrist, like your hand, the back of your hand. There's an invisible yeah. button on the back of your hand that'll toggle those buttons on and off. Those three little buttons. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. So if you ever need I it, it, I you feel can like I'm gonna be a game. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it. It, it's there as an additive. Like if you need a pocket, you can mm -hmm. actually put things in your pocket, right? And that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, so it's it, like here. Let's make five trips for three men, <laughs> for four men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you can really just like carry them like this. Currently, the uh, whisper and yelling stuff is broken because I forgot to fix it. Whoopsies. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be fixed. Oh, okay. Um, so, yep, yep. Awesome. I love this. Thank you very much. No problem. But my hand isn't drifting. I swear I always have drift. And for half you. The time I so, uh, my friend Sock is here today mm -hmm. and he plays Briar's son. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that he is uh, okay to show up as sort of a father-son work day. <laughs> He's a little satyr boy. If, if 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 you're cool, it's been cool. Now, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Cool. I can make so sure that's okay. I did not know he was showing up today, so I was like, oh, okay. That sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> Briar Law. Alrighty. He'll probably just be a single visit stealth. He won't be staying. Okay. Sounds good. Woman. Is chosen. Ha ma 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 ma. A human is chosen. I run, I flee, I, I escape. I must. I es my Come here. Come here. Hello. I ended up picking up. I did. Well, I put. All right. So now, it is time. All right. Do you think anybody will notice this un unassuming watering hole looks a little different than this one? I wonder why. All right. Let's change. All right, you know what? Let's get into our uniform. All right, we're in our uniform. Not ours, not ours, not ours. Sit down, stand up. Reset, everything's ready, okay. Now, oh shit, we, we didn't get our fucking, all right, we're gonna have to get our, okay, we're gonna have to make a stop. That's fine. <clears throat> but first things first, Chad. I'm going to start the trend for the first time today. We'll see if anybody notices. The hell is this contraption? I gotta RP this out. No, don't mind me. How do I get the water? <laughs> this is an OVA part of the program right here. <laughs> Okay. Just insert some.
Good morning. G- good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm all rested and I'm ready to go. Oh. You know what? I, I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. Hey. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Juice. Yeah. What? What is? What? I don't know. Is it? Is it actually? He's proud of you, Juice. I. You know, I don't know. I haven't. I, I don't know. Here, I'll get one for myself. Hmm. Okay. Huh? <gasps> Where's Vev? Where's Vev? Fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is very important. Yeah, where's Vev? I don't think she's up yet. Man, I'm gonna have to, like, wait for... Okay, I'll just have to hold on to this. But not put it in my pocket, because that will just destroy everything. It's very important. Mm-hmm. Wow, there's lots of people out today. That's true. Maybe I should get some some breakfast. Morning. Morning. Mm-hmm. It looks like just straight water. Oh. You gotta make so, it oh, sorry. Good morning. I'm afraid of what oh. the coffee is. I don't want to exist. Oh, I look, coffee I look, is coffee oh my god, everybody is here. My favorite hint of orange. Good morning. Um, sorry. 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 Yeah. Please. Yeah. Maybe sorry, you can leave her, Ashley. What's up? That's okay. Um, it's in my book. Uh, oh, orange juice looks, looks all weird. weird for that. They figured it out. That's what, what it's called. The tea that I made. It's like huh? earthy, earthly kind of taste. Oh, what is that? Earthy tasting, sorry. I got it in our door. Uh, rich. Oh, what? I don't think it's... What is this? Oh, uh... Oh. Mm-hmm. Slimeo got one, too. I don't like it. Oh. Nice. Do, smells good, do, do you want... Mm-hmm. Mm. Here, come here. Grabbing everything. I'm using these guys as bait. <laughs> Uh, you don't happen to have any, like, gold on you, do you? I have one coin, yes. Alright. I'm gonna save the proud of me juice for when, after, duel. So I, well, come for the duel, make me Wait, wait. Even better. Mm. The Carter. Mm-hmm. Oh, not actually on me, on me, <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. So get, get your coin. Okay. I got my coin. All right, let me see it. I'll just... Uh, let me see it. Perfect. All right. Making sure you weren't trying to jip on the thing, you know? would be a... <laughs> what? I just put it in here? Yeah. Oh! Oh, shit? Congratulations, oh, Gavin! <laughs> I found the plot. <laughs> all it costed me was one gold coin. All, all it was was one gold coin. Alright. 
<laughs> well, cheers. You know, the, uh, wait, oh, wait, I'm saving this. I can't, I can't, I can't give it. Oh, I can't, oh, oh yeah, you, yeah. I gotta give this to my loved one. Damn it, I gotta go to the other place. I spent my gold coin. Sip up some plot. <laughs> Damn, that plot looks good. Maybe let's get a cup. <laughs> Good morning. Good luck with your fight fight today. And, uh, Gavin, oh. good morning. Morning. I'm, I'm ready to taste this. What is that drink, man? Which one, which one do you have? Well, this one's not me. Oh, yeah, what is that? This is one's I'm saving for Viv. But I'm going to try his. What, 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 kind, what kind of juice did you get? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Gavin's got something. The juice that everyone's been looking for. Ah. Orange juice? What juice has everyone been That's looking rare. for? That's rare. That's rare juice. juice. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's He's getting me a cup. I'm getting you a fancy cup. Chip, you go talk to her, man. Look what you what? did. What do you mean? You gonna go talk to her, man. Oh, she, she don't get the joke. Oh, she. I'm sure she does. Man, man, she said it. A delicate flower in you. There you go. Oh. What did yes. Go talk. Go. Hold on. Let me sip my plot. Let, let me sip my plot. <laughs> I mean, you didn't offer any to the writer. That's very rude, Gavin. Maybe he wants some plot. Oh, did you want some plot? Give me some plot. Let's get it. Okay. I need some plot. I've taken way too many L's. I could use some plot. Do you want to try your luck? <laughs> Fuck yeah, why not? Alright, get, get him some plot. Let's see what plot gives him. Uh, I'll probably I fucking die anyway. Who gives a you. fuck, right? Alright, Missy. You pick a coin up off the mm. <laughs> now come with me. All right. Yeah. Chips, I don't like when you say "come with me." Last time you said this, like what? you got really mad at me. Did I? Listen, that's all in the past. Yeah. I never really Sorry. hold on to things. As long as things are resolved in the moment and things are talked out, I'll move on. Okay. Um, how broke are you? Do you happen to have any gold on you? I'm pretty broke. You don't even have one gold? Not even one? Chips, you look like I got a... Does it look like I got a job? I mean, you don't have any expenses either. No. Oh, okay. Okay. When I say I'm taking L's all around, man, I'm taking L's. All, all right, all right. No For money. today, I'm going to give you one, okay? Jeez, hold on. Okay. All right. All right. This plot's really good, man. Oh, here you go. All right, there's your, <gasps> there's oh, my gosh. Okay, now. All right, go ahead. But this was, I, we found it down here this morning. Sorry. Right, so I'll just put it in? Yeah. Just kind of right in the All hole right. there. <gasps> oh. Damn, that, that drink was so good, I, I almost had a... I mean, that coin was so good, I almost had a stroke. Oh. Well... What is that? You, uh... Got... Could take your drink. What'd you get? Oh, yeah, I got it. Thank you. Oh, it says, support your friends. Aww. I do that already. But well, maybe it's someone needs supporting. Don't get mad at the the, the thing. I... All right, I guess he doesn't. Is this your way of getting money? Are you just gonna take all the uh, the money out of that, all the coin out of that, and just? Oh, <coughs> I was um. <clears throat> wow, <did> you. <laughs> what was that? 
You know, technically, he can't really steal from me because he gave me the coin, so then I inserted said coin right back. This, so. this one is my own, yes. Sir. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell yeah, anybody. So he technically... Oh, don't worry. I I love shenanigans, and there's one thing that's going to be, he's going to make a lot of money. I'm going to tell everybody about this. <laughs> well, I meant, like, what he's doing. You know. Hey, do you oh, have no, any I gold coins on theft. you? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm broke. If she figured broke. It out, You're broke? Oh my god! <laughs> hold on, man. <laughs> Fuck, hold on. <clears throat> it's fine. You just kind of kick it. No, it's okay, I don't want one. I had my tea today. I gotta go. No, 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 no. Come get the plot. Come get the plot, though. Where you go? Damn, that's crazy how they don't want the plot, bro. Oh, that's fine. That's crazy. I need to kick the machine, man. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Thank you so much for the plot, man. I yeah, yeah. Maybe you know what? Maybe you need that drink. Maybe that drink will come in handy later. You know, and a friend will be in need, and that'll be the perfect time. You know what, homie? If it does happen, awesome. If not, and I'm just being a fucking idiot, and I just took some shit, then it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it was made in a star. What could go wrong? I don't know, man. That's up to plot, I guess. <laughs> oh, you went in. It's called plot. It's really good. What did yeah, you get? I just signed. Oh, support you your friends. Oh, thanks. Can I have some? <laughs> I heard it's very do you popular. Think, do you think there's a bottle that says commit arson on it? I don't want to get that. Uh, I, that'd be funny. Shit, he... Wow, so the, I said support my friends and he fucking died. I, I mean, he didn't die. He temporarily oh. fluxed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's oh. It's, it's, it's I need, I need, I you. needed support. Thank you for keeping me here. <laughs> Well, I saved somebody. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Cheers. 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 You can't believe me. Do you guys want to see what kind of drink you get? You want to see your drink? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. Go right. check it out. See what type of drink you get. It's just a, a coin. One coin. Have a, get, yeah, do you have a gold on. coin? I always have money on me, yeah. Yeah? Okay, perfect. Have, yeah, That's good. Bring him my way. <laughs> we started as fucking. I'm gonna be so rich. Ignis to get money. Also, my my, my brother in, <laughs> in Ignis, you're gone. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Sometimes it does. Alright, alright. All right. You got a coin? No, I, I Co okay. cough it up. Uh, I usually put it in. I, mean, I have a melted bucket. coin. Uh, look a little harder. Right. Look, uh, a little, uh, look a little harder. Need a, need yeah, we gotta look, look a little look, harder. Look a, look a, look a little harder. Oh, uh, I need to look a little harder. See, see if it's in your pockets. Probably, see if it's in you know, your pockets. Your... Maybe down at the bottom of those pockets. Mm. Deep in those pockets. Down at the bottom of those oh. pockets. Yeah, it's a great drink too. Oh, I, oh, 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 this oh, is like a bunch of things. Okay, you got one. Is it one coin? Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. Perfect. All right. One at a time, though. Uh, you don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Go, All right. Go, go ahead. ahead. Give, uh, give, uh, me first. Okay. Me first. Then. Yeah. Go. 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 All right. Let's see. <laughs> Just in case we don't mix. I said I should come to see you to get some right. plot. Oh. I hated. <laughs> I hated. What did you get? <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> Let me see. Nice. Uh, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. Uh, what did you get? Oh no. Okay, and quickly put your thing in. Oh, you got plot plot. Okay. Okay. Fucking hate this. What did you get? What did you get? What is this? No, you're not. Are, are you safe? You should give it to Rex. to give this drink to I, either. Let's not get... Maybe I am we safe. don't want to be late we, for we class. We give it a, a, a coin? 
Yeah, you give it a coin. You gotta mm -hmm. reach deep in your pockets and then you give it a coin. I am afraid, but this is a very uh, good business tactic. I am afraid, but I am tempted, if I may. <gasps> they're they're very, very positive messages. I feel like I need to sh do I, trade how do this I, uh, deep, deep in your pockets. You gotta, you gotta deep in your pockets. Deep in my pockets. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it changes when you put it in there. <laughs> Oh. What, what kind of juice do you have? I have, I have chill day, but my pockets are a little slow today. I'll get it. I'll but get now it. it's changed. Uh, how'd you get a change? Wait, I mean, you you put it in your <laughs> you put it in your maybe, um, maybe it's, maybe your it's uh, storage. Oh, wow. that'll yo yeah that'll uh, break your thing. Uh, Mm -hmm. Right away, I don't know Listen, it was made in Astaria. I didn't get the warranty. I'll I'll try to fix it later. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> really good in di directions. <laughs> I think that this is probably the most po 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 uh, corre uh -oh. correct thing that. <laughs> just just that I in case take people didn't order? hear the, the bell ring. Oh, oh um, we bell, 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 bell. Oh shit! I gotta put this down. How do I? Don't don't put it in the inventory though. It'll break everything. Oh no! I, yeah. yeah. Oh, I will. I will not. I already broke mine. I already broke oh, okay. mine. Oh no! Maybe I. I think I maybe accidentally. Okay, okay. Go up to the front. Maybe seated. <laughs> Sit your ass down. All right, cadets. Today you will be having a lesson given by our lady professor here. I'll let him uh, explain the details here in a moment. And then after which we will be having our semifinals. The duels between cadets Lux and Cadet Dedavril. And get Mason and Kadesh Rise. Right. Look forward to seeing you all in attendance, and that will be in the Great Hall after, or rather, not the Great Hall, the arena after lessons, of course. Ooh, right. Great. Professor, do you would like to explain where your class will be t taken place? Yes. Ah. Uh. So. Uh... As many of you had requested, and we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be giving a bit of a lecture on, uh, griffins. Since they are such a rare creature. Ah, uh, I was looking at the lecture halls, and, uh, they're not really big enough, so we will be having the lesson on the roof. So, we can head there whenever we're... Yes. Very well. Convene in the roof. Five minutes. So how's the, um... It really, it should only take one. The parlor trick going on. Any, uh, luck so far? Uh, uh, Morgan, dear. Think Could about I seven gold? Yes. Nice. Nice. Oh! If I, if I I'm thinking, I'm thinking the, the, the proud juice until after duel. I'm not gonna ask for anything. 
Oh, that's perfect. I celebrate, <laughs> celebrate the drink or a comfort. Well, One of two. Head there. Uh, this is I don't like taste like like what I need. Mild today, so. Three gallons for today. By the way, good luck today. Oh. Is Miles okay? Yeah. Is he sick? Mm, don't really know unless you <clears> drink <throat> too much. You know, I guess I love to drink, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, we still have pictures. Yeah. Nice. Guess we should just just my up. opinion, dude. Didn't really give us much yeah, we should probably line up, up and guess. sign up one of the. I miss her every day. I, t so I miss her as well. There you are, Mason. She was very nice, lady. Who, 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 who that? Who is she? Yeah. Miss Bliss. Miss Bliss. Professor Miss Bliss. Bliss. Uh, what did you do Pretty. with my you were I got that one way for one gold coin to a coin. One day. One day. Where's my drink? I'll see you again. Yeah. It's real cute. Uh, yeah, it's probably nice. somewhere <laughs> behind the trash can. <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah, real, real nice, Sarashi. Real nice. Where the fuck are we lining up? We have people over Don't here. Know. We have people over there. I'm right here. Oh, where are we going? It'll be okay. Pick one of the pillars and stand on it. I noticed that. I'm only Crystal Thorn because Morgan got poached already. Mor by whom? It's okay. I'll be half Crystal Thorn for you. Uh, Brian. Uh, okay. Oh, there's the professor. Crystal Thorn. Do you even know what was in that bottle? Yeah. It tasted so beautiful. And you threw it away. Did it taste like blood? He threw it away? It tasted like blood. Yeah, he threw my drink away. Blood? He threw my blood away. Correction. Correction. I put it behind the trash can. Can you believe it? I'm already taking Gavin, L's enough. Maybe I'm Gavin taking has more L's more. now. Maybe Gavin has a little bit more. I mean, you could just complain and say, hey, I lost my bottle. Are you able to go ahead and refund me for the lost bottle? Mason. No offense. He's not funny for it. Look, fun me for it. I don't know. I don't know. Mason, no, no refunds. No refunds. Going right here. I'm going right here. Where is Lana? Damn, Chris O'Thorn looking good today. Mm -hmm. Shut the hell. <laughs> it's God, <a> thorn. Thorn. <clears throat> today you're just Crystal. <laughs> Good job, Vanguard. Our leader's never here. Shut up. I'm a one man army, bitch. Who? You're all they You aren't even a man. You're all anybody needs. If our fucking leader's not here, I'm about to have the monarchy bola. Um, you might want to get like a, uh, so we can hear you. You're, you're a little quiet. Oh. Uh, Professor, <laughs> Professor, you might have to grab a funnel thing. The funnel thing? Okay, so, right, so, A, I guess we, we need to go down this way, so we can. That one! Ah, uh, yes. I was just going to say that uh, this is my shitty makeshift podium, so... <laughs> center on that, and make it easier. What's happening? You ever met a griffin? I swear I don't... Sounds like very question like to that? me. You I don't know why you said it like that, hon. You, you did say it with the tongue. Sounds like we all met one at the dance if you please. Sounds like an NPC. Yes, if you want to, we can get my friends at the hon. <laughs> it sounds like you. <laughs> Alright. Why are these things that he is saying? I am so confused. <laughs> you had to catch me first. Oh, Please shut up. <laughs> no. All right. I'm assuming that's uh, everybody, considering how close we are to the main hall. It shouldn't have taken too long. All right. So, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Professor Neum, a zoologist, as you all know already. 
and thankfully, very luckily, in fact, I was able to get uh, two griffins on loan from Voltavius for the uh, festivities the other night, and they have uh, very graciously, after I spoke with the headmistress and we sent a letter, have allowed us to keep them for an extra day so that we can give a proper lesson on them, as they are uh, very rare creatures. And uh, most of you probably won't get another opportunity to see them in your lives, unfortunately, considering how limited their range is. Griffins are pretty much exclusively found here in these mountain ranges of southern Valendor that surround this academy and stretch further to the east and west. This is the only real climate where they can function and survive. They're about a meter and a half tall, and their uh, their wingspan is actually very, very large, uh, roughly 25 feet. Uh, though they have twi they have trifold wings, so it's hard to tell when they're just standing. They have. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. One sec. All right, I had to fly that one back in from the coop, so my throat's a little bit dry from the wind. They have a large number of unusual traits about them that are fairly ob- Where, where did it go? <laughs> I thought it flew off for a second. <laughs> obviously, the front half is more avian, with the, the head and beak and wings, obviously, and the talons on their legs. But their, their, mo their torso and their abdomen is more... Mammalian, and it's actually close to the. Uh, based on analysis of the skeletons, they are similar in stru structure to the lions of southern Duat, but uh, not exact. They don't really match up with any species that we know of. As well as the unusual skeletal structure, their bones are actually hollow. Uh, they have air sacs in them that fill up with air, which helps with the weight and allows them to fly easier. It takes off some of the weight of that. Griffins are incredibly rare, as I said, and only really found in these mountain ranges. There are a number of reasons for this, uh, ranging from environmental to uh, issues with predators. As for the environmental concerns, they are very particular creatures, and they they get very sick if they are outside of a specific climate. If they go too far north, it would be too cold. If they go too far south, it would be too hot. Uh, they're very temperamental in that regard. <clears throat> uh, beyond this, they also need to rest fairly frequently, uh, having to stop at least once a day for a rest. So. Taking them over oceans isn't really viable either. On top of all of this, there are also predators in the mountain ranges of northern Valendor, where the mirrored peaks, the mirrored peaks, and Faustar. There are uh, large bat-like creatures that will attack anyone who tries to climb over the mountains, as well as anything trying to fly over them. So they are very much confined to southern Valendor. And more specifically, their breeding ground is the the floating isles of Altavius, which some of you may have heard of. Uh, Ascension Academy's sister school, uh, the Voltavius Institute, is actually built on top of those isles. It was constructed there to study the phenomenon that leaves them suspended there in the air, which, and then, uh, well, eventually developed into an actual academy. They were, based on geological evidence, they were propelled into the air sometime during the Great Pulse. And since they fall on a a convergence of the ley lines, uh, magic always gets a little bit strange there, and that is what's kept them in the air. They roost almost exclusively on those islands. It's where they return whenever they go to mate and lay their eggs, which has unfortunately limited their population very greatly. I'm going to return my notes. 
They're a bit flighty. Pun intended. <laughs> Griffins are fairly intelligent creatures. Uh, approximately as intelligent as you would expect from a, a corvid, like a raven or crow, or uh, even a house cat. They can uh, recognize people and have their own personalities and something of an awareness for themselves. They're also very... They're also very prideful creatures, and they are unable to be domesticated for a variety of reasons. Though, they do exhibit some strange traits whenever they're exposed to people. Uh, which we'll get into. If you stumble across a griffin in the wild, you should immediately put your hands to your sides and lower your head. Like so. Uh, they perceive your, if you raise your arms or raise your hands, like most people are, uh, instinctively do when they meet a creature like this. It, uh, they interpret it as a threat because the way that they, the way that they show that they're aggressive is they unfold their wings and spread them out. And when you raise your hands, that it resembles that somewhat. So they don't like that. So you must always keep your hands at your sides. Your best bet is to remain facing them but keep your eyes down and just back away. Once you get about 20 or 30 feet away from them, they will usually calm down. They will either, they will then usually either approach you or just go to leave. If they approach you with their wings up, as I said, that is a threat. They perceive you as a threat, so you should continue to back away. If they approach you with their wings folded, they will begin circling you to examine you and decide whether or not they trust you. At that point, just uh, keep your hands to your side, your head down, and let them decide. If they do decide to trust you, they will stop in front of you and bow their head in turn, and then usually wander off. And at that point, you're free to wander around them. Uh, they basically uh, accepted you as their charges at that point, temporarily at least. So they will protect you from anything else that comes along, and other griffins will respect this, usually. Uh, of course, if you do something to fuck that up, and you piss the griffins off, then uh, all bets are off. Uh, speaking of, if you do get into a fight with a griffin, <clears throat> uh, that is a very dangerous situation to be in. Again, if you're seeking to not harm them, you should keep your hands at your side and just try to run as fast as you can. If you can outpace them, or slip in somewhere they can't get to you, like under a log or between some rocks, if you wait there long enough, they will usually lose interest and give up. If you are particularly stupid, some of you may have heard stories of this. There have been a handful of accounts of people surviving encounters by jumping onto their backs. This is because they cannot actually reach anything that is on their back, so... As long as you can hold on, eventually it will tire out. However, as I said, this is, um... Very stupid. There are more accounts of people dying attempting this than there are of people surviving, but it does technically work if you just cannot get away from them. I would recommend not trying it, though. The griffins... <clears throat> are... Omnivores. They will eat... Uh, berries and fruits if they're able to, but they will they will seek meat and they will eat you if they kill you. Uh, usually they persist on fish from mountain streams or occasionally small rodents like rabbits, mice, uh, sometimes even small lizards, anything they can really get their hands on. As long as you keep your distance and are calm around them, they are usually fairly peaceful. As I said, these ones are older, they're experienced flyers. In order to become a flyer, uh, well, the griffin and the rider both have to train for many years usually, though. As I said, these are the experienced ones, they're older, more docile. They're used to train new riders in Faltavius, which is why these are the ones that were given to us for you all for the ride. 
a few other miscellaneous points. Uh, you can usually tell uh, whether a griffin is male or female based on the patterns on the undersides of its wings. Uh, if it is a female, it will have uh, lighter splotches on the underside of its wings on the feathers. The males are usually a solid color, which is uh, usually brown, but they can be ranging from light grays to dark grays and uh, lighter browns, things of that nature. Otherwise, though, I believe that is just about everything you could want to know about them. They're very rare creatures, and the population is not very large. We have to actively work to study and work alongside them and observe their populations to keep them from going extinct. As with Voltavius being their only range, and a number of peoples in the past having attempted to weaponize them in various ways, either for direct use in war or as scouting or message carriers. Uh, what remains needs to be protected. And, uh, well, ed education on the topic is the first step towards that. The more people who know the truth and know about them, the easier it is for them to recognize how to deal with them and to know that that is a terrible idea. Uh, if anyone has any questions, oh, I can try to fill in any blanks that I might have missed. Uh, uh yes. Uh... Much like the Panapi, uh, are there any laws or regulations that are in place to protect them? Uh, unfortunately, um, there are there are groups. The the Griffin Riders of Altavius will uh, patrol and try to prevent any poaching. Uh, however, due to their nature and uh, how deadly they are and how aggressive they can become, there are no real laws against defending yourself. It if if someone is attacked and they have to kill it, then it's... It is unfortunate. We try to prevent it by observing where they travel and keeping people away from their, their habitats, but it does happen from time to time. There are no real laws or anything Fault about it. <clears throat> with an F. Though we do try to prevent poachers. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes? Oh, I wanted to know, um, how long is their lifespan typically? Uh, the average is around 60 years, though, uh, they have, well, if, if you were to take the actual average, it would be closer to 30, but if you, uh, discount, uh, infant mortality and eggs that simply fail to hatch, which aren't really representative since they have very large broods, uh, it is around 60. Okay. Uh, any other? Oh, yeah, see Uh, yes. More or less, yes. It is, it is on loan from Faltavius. These ones are... The ones that we keep at Falta that are kept at Faltavius and are uh, used for the Griffin Rider program are docile and... They've, they've all been befriended by the people there, more or less. As I said, they can't really be domesticated. They won't go anywhere unless they want to, but we take care of them and uh, as I said, they have very strange behaviors with people that they've come to accept. They sort of take us under their charge. They they see people in these conditions as essentially just smaller griffins. So as far as they're concerned, there is no difference. You're part of their brood, their oh, little no. families or whatever. If it wanted to leave, there's nothing I could do to stop it. And Falt or Faltavius could. They would just fly off and leave. So they are free creatures. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, what do they normally prey upon? Uh, typically they will hunt for salmon in the mountain streams. They like freshwater fish. As well as they will they will pursue uh, smaller rodents and lizards like, uh, you know, rabbits and things. Uh, they'll also go after berries and fruit if they need to. They are, they live a very sedative lifestyle during the winter as well, similar to bears, uh, in order to preserve 
energy. As oh yes. How territorial are they? Um, moderately. Though they don't have, they don't have a very large territory per se. They will defend their their boosting rounds very fiercely, especially if they're younger with them. They will defend them. But they they are roamers. They will they will fly around and hunt and seek out streams and things. So they don't have a. There's a large ground where they hunt, but they don't have a very large territory. As I said, if you if you approach them in the wild, they're not going to be mad because you're in their territory. They will only get mad if you are perceived as a threat or if you approach them without uh, their... If you approach them before they've deemed it fitting for you to approach them. Mm, yes. Um, what will be the natural enemy uh, of the griffin in general, aside from climbing? <clears throat> they they don't have many predators. The only things that they usually... The only thing that they can run into that can hunt them, because being as large as they are uh, dissuades most predators, and then anything that doesn't dissuade, they, they just fly away and they can't deal with them. The one thing that does prey upon them is there are some large bat-like creatures in the mountain ranges of the Mirrored Peaks and Faust, uh, more towards the, the Dark Lands in the north here. Uh, they will attack anyone who tries to climb over the mountains, as well as anything that tries to fly over, which includes griffins. And uh, they can usually pretty readily kill them, so the griffins don't go that way, and the griffin riders don't ride them that way. But that is the only thing that can really prey upon them. <clears throat> Any more questions? Yeah, yes? Um... As you said, they get very territorial about their, like, nesting grounds. Um, is there any way to spot? Or um, do they kind of, like, mark their territory of where they're going to roost so you know to avoid an area? Uh, thankfully, the only place that they, they roost are in the, the floating isles of Faltavius. Uh, oh. So the, there are specific islands where they go to breed on, and then there's the main island where the academy is built. So we just don't go near them. We don't go near the roosting islands when it is seasoned for it. We just leave them to their oh. business. And there's no risk of anyone wandering upon those, thankfully. Unless they can levitate. And at that point, they're making a concerted effort to put themselves in danger. So, oh well. Okay. Uh, I think one or two more questions and then leave. If we can head to the duels if anyone has any more. Ah, yes. Like other Corvidae, um, do they happen to mate in the same way as other birds? Or are they one life, one term? It depends. They, they mate for a... It is close to mating for life, but if their partner does die and they are still within the correct age range, they will seek out another mate. So it's it's not as if uh, like some other creatures, if their mate dies, they will just no longer find any mates. Uh, they will seek out another mate after a year or two. All right. I suppose if, uh, if that is all of the questions. Uh, we can begin getting ready for the duels. I'll, uh, I'll ring the bell and all that, I guess. Does the headmaster seem, the headmistress seems to have gone off to do paperwork? Sure, you gotta go. You gotta go. Alright. I see that. And I'll make sure, uh, Watson is ready. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. oh. I want to ride it again. No, I am. It looks like it's time for, uh, uh, uh well, actually. <laughs> Professor, one last question. Where, What's their where name? We mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking that too. Oh, I also like the big bird. Oh, oh, okay. All right. What's the name of? I uh, don't actually know this one's name. No. Huh. 
I got them confused on the flight over. <laughs> it sounds like a story. <laughs> well, it's just like me. Plus, according to what I was hearing, I would have laughed if, this, if the, the Griffin just stared at starts. him for saying, I don't know this mission. Uh, you could approach, yes, but um. Group, you can approach if you'd like, though I would suggest, uh, well, obviously you are all, I guess make it formal, you are all dismissed. So, if you would head to the arena within ten minutes. Uh, oh. No, Ryder, hands down. Ryder, hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. our hand to answer questions, questions this whole time. Let him get his head bit off. No. Victor, no. Oh, no. Okay. They should be fine. I just bumped him with the bottom of his beak. But yes, you are all this if you'd like to head to the arena, or a couple of you can see to the bird if you'd like. Uh, Imagine if there's a lot. should get to the duels within 10 minutes. Don't raise your Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, wait. oh, didn't make you stupid oh, yeah. enough to spend your work more by that? Let's go ahead. I ought to throw you off this roof, you s- Look, stop it! Wait, where did this child come from? I don't need to be You can try. I'm a- Yeah, you could try. I was late to the professor. Professor, I don't know if you're on it. Please, don't fight me. Wait, it wrote it on a- I don't want to have to deal with it. Child? What? I wasn't talking about fighting him. He, he said some okay. words to me from the boat. Well, we'll Maybe to the boat I go, I guess. I don't want to deal with it. That's all I said. Into the thick of it, into the thick of it. You're, you're, you're alright for now. You know, you look cool as heck anyway. You know what? You're lucky you look cool. Thank you. Okay. You're pretty cool too. Ryder, I'm gonna change out your, sh your sh sword for a shovel. We had a, uh... When I was you can do it. Or, 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 I'm out of here. Or, 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 Oh, you're gonna make me blush. Huh. It was a good lecture. I thought we were gonna do some flying or practical application. I was hoping to, you know, do feed the bird, maybe? You know, like, something? Oh, oh. But it was a good lecture. You did a good job. Good job, Confo. <laughs> Alright, um, I know there's people coming to my area, so I'm gonna need to get ready for that, I guess. Da 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 da! Yeah. Where did I put my 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 bottle? Oh yeah, there it is. Where's my bottle? Nah, we uh, just here we go. We'll just put that here. Who? <sighs> <sighs> What are we doing again? I'm getting ready for what again? I don't even. I don't even. I, what? Who am I? What are we doing? Okay. Ugh. Who art thou? Where am I going? Okay. Up, Abby. Uh, uh, yet, uh, Professor K. 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 
Monsieur King. Respond. Out of my way. Let's go. What's up, dude? What's going on? Let's fucking go. What's the going on? What's up, man? Uh, hello. Uh, I knocked on your office and weren't answering, so I assume. Yes, I was out running an errand. Just give me one moment, would you? Yeah, go for it. Powder my nose. Yes, go go powder your nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yes. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have. To... Okay. <laughs> blah blah blah. I forget what I was... Shit. I was supposed to do something with this, and I don't... Oh, it's been like three weeks since... Okay. RP, baby! All right. I'm ready. Whenever. Did you not hear me? Oh shit. Misty? Misty? Uh, yes. Sorry, I was late to powder my nose. You were powdering your nose. I didn't know when to go. Fair enough. I wasn't. I'm oh, ready. shit. Hi. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. What do I have the honor of this visit? Um, uh, yesterday. I went to go and see Mistress, uh, about hand. Um. About your hand. My hand was hurt during the monster hunt. I was grabbed by a monster creature and it numbed my hand to a point where it broke quite a lot of the bones. Um, I know that I was in my natural healing pool, so it kind of overhealed and whilst I came out, my hand was in an awkward position and Hannah broke it again to try and break it back into place to heal. My God. I thought maybe my healing would fix it, um, but it seemed to have healed in a very awkward place, like kind of the bone joints were connected to like trying to heal into each other. Mm. Uh, I went to go to the medical squad a second time because it was hurting more, and I went to I went to I went to Arbor, and Arbor broke it again and tried to fix it with her magic. Um. It derailed the pain a little bit, um, and as we got back to the academy, I noticed that 
no matter what I did, putting my hand in lava, letting my natural healing take over, it just refused to heal. And ever since then, I've been struggling trying to pick up items or even train with my hammer. I went to go to the headmistress to see whether or not she had an answer, either to figure out what to do, but I went to go and talk to Hannah about it, and even Hannah said I could... It could be that my hand could be lost due to the fact that I couldn't feel a lot of my fingertips, such as nerve system might have gotten damaged as well, meaning hand is a little bit uh, crumpled, and I do not know what to do. That was a awful lot. I did hear about your initial injury, and I'm sorry that happened. But I was unaware that uh, medical administration had not been successful. So you're coming to me? Um, I know the headmistress is trying to figure out what to do, but she stated that maybe you could have an idea what to do with Kant. <sighs> I'm not much of a healer, but there are some spells <clears throat> that are meant for, um, a slightly different purpose. However, come over here. Very well. So, let's see how damaged this is. Now, I am not a medical professor, nor am I much in the medical field, but I need to know exactly what's going on and see if there's anything we can do with this. Alright. Michonne, identify. He'll begin to probe. What he's looking for exactly is if there's enough nerve left to manage. Uh, as you look at it, mm -hmm. it seems like there are still some nerves left, but the thing is where the nerves are are simply. Say that again. Unusable, yeah. like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There we go, much better. Um, as you look into the hand, it seems like the nerves have been damaged, but it seems like there are there are some left that could be used. But most of it's completely destroyed. Hmm. He continues to probe. How far down does he find the damage goes? It goes kind of like to here, but th this is all fine. It's just the actual hand itself. The actual hand itself. Fair enough. So, here, flip this over for me. This is in poor shape. Well, please. Hmm. Right, right. Right. 
But you do have some nerves available to us, which, honestly, if there was nothing left, we wouldn't be able to do anything. However, lay your hand flat on the table, please. Alright. Now I want you to open it like this. Now I want you to attempt to move your fingers. Can you move any of them? Nothing. Okay. We're going to do something. Now, funny thing about magic is it's basically stimulating the very essence of the world around us by providing energy. We're basically providing our energy to create a reaction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stimulate some of the nerves to see if we can get a little kick. It's like sending a little electric shock into something and seeing if there's a response. I need to know how badly damaged these are. While you might not be able to have motor function and control them yourself, if we can at least get something through, there might be hope. Alright? We're gonna test this out. You ready? Mm. Okay. Here we go. As you do it, it seems like they move just a tad bit due to the magic pulse. But they stop. Excellent. I see. Wonderful. This is very good. Huh. Well... I have a couple options for you. All of which are extreme. Hmm. Extreme's my middle name. And there's no guarantee that they will work. <sighs> Go for it. Okay. I'll not let the plan. <clears throat> There are some spells, which actually were on the docket for some of you to learn, that deal with, well, transmutation. You're familiar with transmutation, yes. Right. <laughs> now, at its foundation, it can do a lot. What we're looking for is maybe something akin to a replacement. So it's more or less of a hybrid. While your nerves are intact, it seems that everything else is completely ripped to shreds. So what we need to do is use something else, use the existing nerves as your center, and hopefully stimulate it to operate something new. But the only way that this will work is if we have something that won't reject from your body. Now, what I propose is there is a... You're familiar with material costs, are you not? A uh, little bit. Right, if you... Some spells require um, a substance or, or a material of matter, essentially, which you use to then manipulate its essence, right? Change mm. at the foundation level and rearrange that matter. Right. What we're going to do, and what I propose, is a hybrid solution that entails a little bit of transmutation. We are not completely creating something new or converting, but we are attaching and assimilating to body types. What I would need is... First of all, I need your blood work. All your medical mm. files. Second, I know that that would be all medical. We need to find a suitable hand. The only option, and let me explain, is while you've tried to break it multiple times, in fact, it failed each time. What I propose is we are going to remove it completely, leaving only the nerves intact, and then reassemble within something new, 
and existing. But again, I would need something that matches your bodily makeup. Something of... Well, first of all, I would need to be able to withstand massive boiling points, which we can't even comprehend. I have an idea. Um, during the fight, I know that the CAF uh, allowed us to take materials from the creatures, allowed us to have one creature that we could uh, harvest for ourselves to use as crafting material. I know that the creature that I fought, that I lost my hand to, had the high temperature point to withstand <clears throat> temperatures of lava, which helps me heal as well as allows me to still use my magic without it melting. I was wondering whether or not if I could take some materials from that creature, such as a scale or even a talent so I can craft a hand for myself, if that is needed, and I could probably ask. This is kind of stupid, but I could... Ryder does have demonic blood, which... Demon liqueur seems to be a very awkward standpoint when it comes to manipulating it. It sometimes fails or sometimes succeeds. But due to my demonic nature, maybe it could work. It took me a second to process what you were suggesting, but... Yes, I hadn't even gotten that far, as I didn't know if you were even on board with removing your hand. But alright, if you want to move forward, you are right. We will need some sort of blood replacement, as you will be under for an extended period of time. And we will need to get that blood flowing. E though, there are two things that need to work out for this to even go forward. One, you need to test whether or not you are compatible with that what did you call it a creature uh the lava magma creature i don't know if it had a specific name well whatever it is you need to run some tests in fact you need to have medical run some tests now i could be present for these as there are a couple things that need to be met you it's I should probably actually be there. But, when they're ready, I can oversee it. Basically, a few things need to happen. We need to test it for, obviously, whether or not it can withstand a certain heat. We can do this in a variety of ways. Whether you supply the conditions that are required for you, um, and see if it can withstand them, or we put pressure on externally ourselves. Also, we need to test combining these two types together at the more foundational level. However, I don't know if we have the tools here. I might need to send for something in GMA. Yes, they have what we need. And lucky for us, they're here. <coughs> you do know they have the top research <laughs> right. So I will need a couple things. Ascension Academy isn't necessarily built for, um... This type of research. <laughs> Alright, I know what I need. Okay. If you want to go ahead with this, we need to make sure everything fits in nicely. So who are you going to be working with? Who do you trust? Well, I know that uh, Mason. If you were going to have someone take your hand off, who would you like it to be? Ah. Oh. Mm. Knowing it, I know that Hannah has a very good standpoint on it. So Hannah will be your go-to. Very well, I'll mark that down. If you're going to do this, I need to make sure it's, it's done safely. That means 
check-ins. And I will check up on you. And Hannah. Very well. Talk with Hannah. Let her know that this is something you want to pursue. Also let her know that this is just... Getting the foundation laid. We don't have, th have everything ready yet. But, we'll get there. Let's test. Make sure it works. And if we have positive test results, nothing's ever 100%. We can only do the best we can with our tests. But, as long as we follow certain principles, we should be fine. Alright. <laughs> Next, obviously. The blood trans fusion which would probably be necessary and we would need a willing donor with that we need to make sure that the blood type would work and it's not just the fact that hot-blooded runs in veins there are other factors so medical can test for that that much I know they have the capability for As for other things, we need to make sure to protect your current nerves while we do this research. We can't have it continually degrading. I'm not liking the look of it, so we need to look into temporary solutions fast for preservation of currently what's left. So talk with Hannah and the medical staff and two potential programs that you can look at for that while we try to figure out this whole next step thing. Right. I think that about covers it. So, takeaways. You must talk with Hannah. Brief her on mm. the possibilities of what might be possible. It is going to take a couple things. Surgery, as well as spell work. And this is a custom spell. I'm going to have to craft it. It's not too far of a long shot. Like I said, it already has bases in many existing spells, so... It's just... Well, any time you do something new, it's a learning curve. Yeah. Trying to learn how to cast Fireball was a very interesting discovery for myself. They are fun, though. Very well, we have a plan. Talk with Hannah. Mm. You know what you're doing, right? You're talking with Hannah. You're telling her everything we've talked about, your potential outline. You're going to run some tests. I'm going to get some equipment to help with some tests, but you guys can start with some preliminary tests. Find a donor, test the blood, make sure that their blood work matches. If we have all these things in check, we can proceed to the next stage. All right. Sounds like a plan. Well, hopefully I have something better than... Well, percentage of chance. Maybe we can get it up to 90%. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll start working. Ah. And, well... Well, I will... Go do that, then. Make sure that I take care of those nerves. Yes. They'll probably put it in a cast, because I know that, um... I want to go to see Augusta, and Augusta was, um, thinking of putting it in a cast to protect it more. Mm. So it's not just... Moving about. Have them probe in and see if what they can't do internally to maybe help seal it up. Alright. That's all I have, but it's a plan. Thank you. Hmm. I will leave you be to your work, and I will go and uh, write everything down so I can send it to uh, Hannah. So I don't get a brain set of fiery infernal. Are you sure you want to do this? There might be other solutions. Yes. Yeah. 
them. I just want to be able to protect my squad. Fair enough. Though you are on borrowed time, like I said. Those nerves are left to their own devices. So they'll fry out. <sighs> right. Up to it then. I'll do. Thank you. Okay, now let's get to the duels. <laughs> let's get to the duels! <laughs> a smash coming in from up top. On a beam! The beam coming in! Oh, oh, managing to reflect... What? What in the world just happened? Did, did your arm just get blown? The shield arm! It's completely gone! Come on, Risa. Risa seems absolutely not lost! To use her arm like and comes in! With the blows! Oh, what a remarkable turn of events! You thought it might just be over! With two minutes left! And Risa! Dripping again! Coming in with the overhead blow! Mason barely managing to take oh back some of the momentum! How will he deal with this? A smash to the midsection! And Mason falls once again! He can only take so many of this! Ducks under that swing, comes in for another smash! The two bashing each other gym, hard and heavy! Like Mason on the ground! Exactly. Can he get back up? I think the Five, wounds are getting to him. Four, He's gonna three, two, one, Wait, and it's over! Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure what he was coming down. Good, Rashi. He won. Yeah. You as well. Get it right. Yep. <laughs> I may be She'll a be little fine. lost here. Should someone go find her arm? Why they brought the bucket over to help I with the yeah. acid. Hmm. Gotta wash it off. Neutralize it. Did you did you see the fight, Chips? I just got here. I saw the end. Ah, um. So they clashed. Uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Mason shot a big beam. Um, mm -hmm. he blew off Rise's arm. Mm hmm. <sighs> so What's now that? she's left-handed. Um. Well, luckily she's slime. Yeah. I believe what you're looking for is she's all right now. <laughs> oh, Coretta. That one hurt. Yeah, but it was her right arm that got blown. Oh, I think it was her right arm. Was it her right arm? No, it was her left. It was an arm. Was it? I couldn't tell. I can't tell. Remind me never to do that. You couldn't tell that she was swinging the giant, what would look like a two handed sword with her right arm and leg. Was an absolutely well, thrilling right. fight that was. Pull up to us, and turns. In the end, the adaptability of Rise. After they lost their arm, nonetheless. What a spectacular individual! Cadets Lux and Cadets Davril, if you could please report. To your respective sides. I'm probably a little busy because I can't check on them right now. Well, the thing about this is when you're sparked up with so much lightning and he has metal armor, I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay on him. 
I've had conversations with him that like What's the next matchup? Good fight. He doesn't know how to change his chart, right. so he's on Gavril versus Lux. I'm moving vicariously Lux. through Lux. I'll tell oh, okay. You okay. Mm. Curious if Lux knows how to fight someone. Oh, we got icy, icy speed versus and just like powerhouse. Mm. I don't think Devil would uh, allow that. Yeah. Quite no. right. He'll be looking out for grapples. He fucking lubed himself up. I swear to God, that's. I'm I'm sure he did. Uh, Devil's smarter than you give him credit for. Stays on him. Nah, he lubed himself up. Isn't lubing up in some fighting places, like, illegal? Because <laughs> it makes you slippery and stuff? I don't Wait, he I mean, maybe... himself up for your fight? No, that's my, that's my theory, because I couldn't grab him until the very fucking end. Wait. Wouldn't you it's have been lubing your, your own? Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, isn't it your own fault? But it's not slippery. That's, oh. that's like it's like solid. It's like a. What is that oh, okay. Word? That's like a you don't have clammy so hands. Solid? Oh. No. Oh. Really? <laughs> don't. <laughs> that's not what it's called. Because explain when you take a copper coil and you put electricity through it. Magnet, but the magnet has a different charge. No. Stiff water? I don't know. Magic, bitch. Yeah. Love magic. Magic hands. Seeing Devil fight. He'll probably go for his tendons. Disable him. Yeah, I mean, he was talking about, like, going for my spine at one point. Does anybody want to bet? <laughs> Oh shit! I used my last coin. I mean, this got <laughs> coins. Yeah. Oh. I came into some money recently. <laughs> you just flash money at me. Maybe. This man flashing money uh, inventing pills <laughs> has made you rich so far, chips. What was that? Milk. Huh? Yeah, apparently it's yeah, plot milk. based milk. What? <laughs> no, it's not. Y do you want to... Okay. If you really want to know about what's really going on, I will show you. So you're going to show me the pilk machine. Well, it, what are you calling it? I was, the, I was the one that got plot. <laughs> From what I'm hearing, it's plot milk, so it's obviously pilk. Plot milk? People were making so Davro when I showed him my drink, he says he shouldn't mi mix that with milk. It might have a bad outcome. <laughs> flat milk. Yeah. yeah, I can see so that. So they called it pilk. Gross. No. Yeah, exactly. No. Well, you you'll probably get something else. Yeah, Liang got uwu milk. It's so ominous. What? I'm done. He's got I got I got cow milk. Brown Good job, slime move by the way. Is it time? Your victory? Oh well maybe. Oh, sweet growing, give it time. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I mean on to the fun. And he, he, he got and he got share it with your loved one milk. Oh sure. what? <laughs> Misty just got one that said drink me. Or wait, no, it said are you safe. Oh, she? Ah, uh, yes, the uh, danger milk. <laughs> danger. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does it always have to... You know, uh, when you make things milk, it becomes lewd. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting like, for a like bottle you can't say milk and... happy milk because now it's been perverted. You can't be happy to have milk anymore. <laughs> sure you can. <laughs> You're just milk happy. Milk happy. I guess so. 
You good? I'm just not used to not having a criminal here. Okay, it was. Uh, okay, yes, it was your last time. Small. Small arm. She has nothing left. Don't, don't make her small arm you. I have the gauntlet, and I'll put it back on when I have enough to put it back here, because it's kind of just forming and center, and then I can just push it back out and tell it's hand. Well, good to know that you're alright. I mean, I, 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 I've actually been trying to wave on the hunt before, so... I mean, this is less, is less to do this, just... I wanna rush it. <laughs> uh, gotten yourself a pig leg and you blended in with one of the pirates. I don't perceive it, Victor. Did you, what did you find, Victor? Okay. Then let's get going. My oh, he's got his... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Got his don't worry. Go. You're capable. It was stuck in a vortex. Oh, no. I see. Was it in your pocket the whole time? A vortex. An astounding first round! A With Cadet Race being sent to the finals, it is down to these two to determine who they will be facing. GMA. It is your turn to decide who will be your representative. Will it be the heavyweight, the luxurious Lutz? I returned from my, uh... They may have made their way here on a technicality. But do not underestimate the dangerous devil! To make a nut up and push out to the street. Come on to the middle with the both of you! A handshake got this far. Going on a little break while they have their little fight. Perfect time. I'm like, I don't know why I'm waiting for after the fight to do this. We have seen Lux time and time again with powerful blows and an armor that can barely be scratched. Davril, small but speedy. Utilizing quick movements, low slashes to bring their opponents to their knees. Will Davril size 
be his undoing, or will it be his secret weapon? Can Lux catch up to this speedy foe? As they circle each other. Lux coming in for low kicks. Davril smacking at the knees. Lancing off Lux's legs. Davril sidestepping his opponent's blows nimbly and comes up for a gut punch. Lux merely laughing it off, jumps and comes for a blow, but Davril is wise to his old friend's tricks. Lux is going to have to pick up something new in these next few minutes. Devil coming in once again, smacking up high, then going down low, changing the angles around. Lux looking quite all right still. A smack to the middle, Davril sidesteps, another smack, and continually that one catches Davril in the side of the head, shakes it off. Fucking do it again. How you. many more blows like that can he take? Come on. Colliding the middle again, Davril sidestepping. Ooh, coming up high this time with his weapon straight to the chest and face. <laughs> Changing the angle of attack. You got to be confident in the fight. That definitely way. caught Lux on the chin. Don't want to be overconfident, however, I'm pretty sure you've taught him that as well. Yeah. These two but sizing each other head. up now. Impulse. Down low goes Davril once again. Catches the knees. Oh, an upward smash. No there by Lux. Devil takes another shot. Didn't see that one coming. Still dazed and takes another punch. Parries that one away, however, and manages to step out of the way. Lux is definitely connecting now. That has oh, no. got to be. Oh. What? <laughs> I heard a charge up there for a moment. And the beam once again. Ooh. Davril getting sent back all the way to the wall with that one. Mm. Are you shitting me? Takes it right yeah, on the chin. Time. You have speed. Does look like he got his weapon up, which reflected mm. a lot of it. But still, that Help cannot me. feel good. No. Has to take a lot out of you. Smacks to the knees, come in once more. But Lux, perhaps toying with his food. A jumping kick there by Lux. Raises past Avril's here. Ah, here's the oh, weapon we saw I last time. Sword. The weapon of light. Doesn't seem to be activated quite yet. Mm -hmm. yeah, With five yeah, minutes now. remaining. He's two exchanging blow for blow. Mm, Avril definitely I, I, a little I, I, bit I more, but he has gotten his shots and... He picked it up That from, is true. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Whose stamina? will propel them to the finals. The channel blade. Yes. Lux. And Lux seems to smacking his weapon spare gems. against trying mm -hmm. to looks like grab Devril this time. Put away the weapon for now, an upward smack to the face! Sends Lux reeling. 
And a low blast to the legs again. Masterfully done by Davril. Catching the opponent unaware. Both breathing heavy now. And a high blow again. Catching Lux right a square on the head. The gums are flapping on both of our contestants here. Low smacks coming together as the two collide. And while I'm sure Davril would love to stand in there, go blow for blow. But Lux's height advantage is not the greatest of ideas. Blows to the head, as we well know, the most dangerous one of them all. Oh, and Lux has stepped on the foot of Devril here to get some more blows in. Devril not as stable to escape out of that one. Just a few slashes to the hand is all that got him out of it. With three minutes remaining, another high shot, but this time... Lux was ready, but not ready for the rebound. Devril still getting his shots in. How much of an effect has it had on Lux? That is a real question. We have seen him take mighty powerful blows. The two circling each other once more. With just a couple of minutes remaining in the battle. Oh! Looks like for a moment, Lux got a hold of Davril and manages to barely get out of that. And not allow himself to lose his mobility. Smacks coming through. Davril parries. A high blow, Davril sidesteps. Ooh, and a smack oh, coming in with the sword. Barely manages to move that out of the way. And another smash coming in. Lux taking advantage, and it looks like that parry leaves Davril without a weapon. What can he do now? These blows coming together. But in a fist fight, what chance does he have against someone twice his size? Still has the speed. One minute to go. One minute to go in this battle that has taken all of everything from both of these opponents. A high smack coming in to Lux. And a smash to the back. Avril still getting his hits and can Lux finish us off or will Davril wear down his opponent as the two are flailing trying to get any piece of real estate bruised battered 30 seconds remaining a high smash sending Davril back Ooh, actually got him that time. Lux retreating just a few seconds remaining. Who will finish this? A grab there sends Davril flying all the way to the other side. He caught himself though, which is impressive. Mm, the last seconds. Wayne down. And the beam coming and catches Davril midair. Sends him off the way to the wall and to the ground oh he might be down five four three two one that's over oh the show bossing bastard he fucking oh, bowed right. i'll check on him okay. i got you man we'll get to yeah. sounds about right though you good yeah. you good I'm giving you my hand here. You got him? If I need to carry, I'll do it. 
shit. He's okay. All good? Yeah. All good, buddy? Okay. Yeah. Come on, man. Okay. So we gotta grab my right. street creeper over there. I got you. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. hey. All right. A little Damn, I can't believe you're standing up after that. Holy shit. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think he broke uh, my clavicle. Oh. I think he tried well, to lift stuff uh, in the pain now. Yeah, let's get over to the tent before uh, you fall apart there, bud. Okay. Yeah. Looks yeah. like Adept Avril is going to be just okay. And there you have it, folks. Okay. The finals coming up soon. Not today, of course. We must let our combatants rest a little bit. But in the end, it will be Cadet Rise from Ascension Academy. Versus Cadet Lux, representing GMA! Who will come out on top? That is to be determined next time. Cadets, you are dismissed.
so how they do. All right, let's do this. <sighs> I'm pretty sure she'd give you can me a run for my up, money. But... Who's that? <clears throat> Who are you? <clears throat> oh, it's Card. What's up, Card? <laughs> Where is everybody? Right now, I'm eating cookie. Ooh, another guard. Well, it's guard time. Guys have taken over. Oh, there's an alley. What's Ellie doing? Where's she going? She's going to her room. She's going to her room. Uh. Zoom. Well, so far today's been fun. It's been a, a nice, chill academy day. We uh, learned about griffins. I hope you guys liked the lessons on griffins. I thought Comp did a really good job um, uh, presenting the griffin lore. It, it looked like other uh, people enjoyed the class as well. I thought uh, they were paying attention. Uh, okay, maybe some weren't. But that's to be expected with a long lecture, okay? Not everyone uh, interprets. You know, when someone says the sky is blue and they have to ask what color is it. I mean, it happens sometimes, you know? It happens. But that's okay. First class in a while? Meh. We're gonna have another one. Soon. Oh, by the way, that actually reminds me. Let's go check it out. <coughs> I need to do it as chips, though, so I can actually get the full feeling, but let's see if anybody's there. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Whee! Yeah. 
so this shit's ready for alchemy class. Everything's good to go, oh baby. Yeah, good shit. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, mm hmm. Do we still got the mother's leaf? Are uh, we trying to get high and see our mom? Mama, dearest! Who's there? Who this? Where is everybody? Alright, it's time to start stalking people. Alright, let's do this. We have the technology. Alright, let's, all right, let's check. If you want to challenge the child, at least do it something like an arm wrestling match or something cordial. Something manageable, okay? Nothing, nothing crazy, please. Somebody open up the portal. He's literally holding you up. Got it. You find that my son. Down in front. He's very strong. I'd move, Cadet Liang. Sorry about that. Good time, um, son. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Thank you. Got good, the kids got I good aim. I'll we'll give them that. Hello. Apparently. Hey. Yeah. Here, you get another candy. I'm a lot of boulders. Yes, you just witnessed that. Mm. Roger is quite the boulder. Six year olds bit. Nope. 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 Oh, I thought you meant like one of those old butterscotch things no. that the caramels are. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. No. Okay. <clears throat> is there uh, something going on around here? Is there a fire? No, no, no we just watch a uh, little kid throw a rider to a portal. Uh, 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 the big long guy. He's the bigger man rider. Okay. Oh, shit. Someone get the portal for him. My son. Oh, oh shit. My son. I'm all right. the portal. Really, there better not be anything. Should we put them in the arena? Oh, fucking... Maybe. Has there been anything missing from the potions closet? Oh, really? Are you not? Really? What's no. that? Oh, yep. I think I said okay, that. Okay, hold on. Think about this. You're fighting... Oh. Oh. <coughs> Wait, he's what? If you're, you're fighting... He's sick. I'm probably the only one... Think here, Steve. <coughs> 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 fight the child. Come on. Let it go. Do not encourage him at this juncture, cadets. Would you be available for Professor K now, or is uh, later better? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, because I'm heading to the docks anyway, and uh, my character is looking for Misty, so... Okay. Right, I'll see you in a bit, then. Sounds good. See you in a couple. Hmm. Like, um, Briar's son, small, small Briar. I didn't see anything. I'm gonna let it go. I'm a breeze. I'm a breeze. I'm a breeze. It's fine. Okay. Good call, cadet. Good call. I don't know how to yeah, what? Well, yeah, I'm gonna let you make it today. the announcer. Make sure you can hear An Ascension Academy fights <laughs> with kids.
doing this. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alrighty. Just call me Noriaki today. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, uh, Keepity hobbity ho. The man's just got to go. Oh, okay, that hurt. Mother Mary Joseph. Uh, sit. Ugh. <sighs> there we go. Wonderful. Now, though, now we can just sit here and. You know what? I need to put a little mini game on here while I wait for people. You know, like. Cause rolling dice is fun and all, but like, what about Super Vamp Bros, man? I can have that right here, like on like a side, and click here to be like uh, a special Stealth RG button here, and then it'll pop up a window over here. It'll be Super Vamp Bros. And then, what's K doing? I'm learning magic. Come on, chips, jump, jump. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come in. Hello there, sir. Looks like Misty's no longer here. I believe she went to talk to you early this morning. Ah, uh, yes. We had a discussion earlier. Uh, what can I do for Later. you? I'll maybe I'll run into her less. Um, well, I wanted to um, have a bit of a progress report then on the last time we discussed. Uh, you wanted me to practice working on water currents. Um, I've made ah, some yes. progress, but uh, still struggling struggling in some ways, and maybe you might have some advice. Uh, One moment. Some of the professors had ideas that I've been messing with, but... Alright. What seems to be the problem? Well, I seem to be able to do it to an extent, but the issue is um, I need to be in physical contact with the water to some degree so far or at least something that i've some th part of my magic like for example if i have like a uh some water like a actually i'll just show you what i mean uh usually to move my own arm i have to move it with water uh if i touch it with the extension of that i seem to not have much difficulty once I am no longer touching it, I can control it for a few moments, but eventually I lose uh, any form of connection. I'm still able, like I said, I'm able to control it to extent, but um, if I'm not touching it with something <clears throat> I've created, like a water wall or something, it's not, <coughs> it doesn't connect. I don't know. It's the connection, long story short, that I'm having issue with. Um, and your practice between something that's with currents thus far, what have you been doing for those? Um, I've been filling a tub of water. Um, I have, have it over at the docks uh, that I can show you later if you'd like. But sure. uh, if I fill this tub with water, I put a little toy boat on it. And um, I basically have been sitting there and practicing trying to move it around or control it. Um, like I said, when I touch the water or put something in the water that I'm able to control or think of, um, a Professor Selene had an idea where I imagine blood flow and how blood is pumped for our body so I started messing with it that way which has helped some if I picture the water as if it's I don't know there's a heart like a pumping the water it helps me control it some um, I'm just trying to attach I guess things to the feeling um, but like I said I'm still stuck on the hole when it's not connected the further away things are I can't really do much there <clears throat> so I think I'm that's beginning I'm to, to understand some some where some of the difficulties lie max when we give you pointers mm -hmm. on things like weaving or blood flow oh boy i know where this continues sir while this works and can work for some you may find something works completely different for you mm -hmm. something that doesn't have to do with any of that so might I pose the okay. question to you? Do sure. our methods feel right to you? Or do you perhaps think there is a method that would help you 
and better suit you. Um. Hmm. No, this isn't an answer that I, most at people At first, I thought give, you were going to say I take things a little too literal, but to answer your question, one of the things I've noticed is um, I tend to have to retool things. Like, let's say you, you tell me how to do something, like, just bare bones, here's something simple, and this is X, Y, Z, how to do it. Mm. I tend to sometimes have to do Y, X, Z, like, in almost a different order, but I still end up at the end of the alphabet. Correct. I understand. Despite having to rearrange something along the way to match the way I'm mm -hmm. have done other things. Um, right. Because I know when I first discussed this with you, I was showing you how I was able to mm -hmm. merge a water bolt and a lightning bolt uh, together by basically forcing it. I, well, not forcing it, but more so attempting to cast them simultaneously to the point where casting them at the same time almost, well, it, now I can do it as if it's its own spell, just a singular spell despite it being compounded um, right. in a sense. <clears throat> but you... it's some, I just keep banging my head against the wall until I learn it, basically. Right. Well, take this, for example. You just brought up a good one. Weaving water and lightning together. Some take mm -hmm. the approach of banging them together, sure. But you found something that worked for you in the end, correct? Right. Others yes. Yes. may... We'll go down the analogy route. Some might find, and in my experiments, <clears throat> I found that water was con conductive, and lightning traveled easier through it. Thus, I found casting water before mm -hmm. lightning was more beneficial for me. However, some who have, say, yes. for affinity for lightning, had a better chance mm -hmm. of casting lightning before water. It was completely different, right? It's reverse, and it made no sense to me. Yes. For me, it was completely different. But, uh, like I said, you, are, every person is of individual makeup, and we do the best to look at the world around us, take examples from life, and then weave them into mm -hmm. what we call magic. Okay. Now, this is all very abstract, obviously, but it's a way of thinking, right? As is magic, if you think about it, <clears throat> so. Right. But if we were to pull now into more specifics and out of the abstract, well, let's go back to your problem. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Trying different approaches is good. Getting information from other people and what they found has worked is good. Trying them all is mm -hmm. perfect. It leads to discovery. Maybe things that you'll find out about yourself. Preferences that you never even knew you had. And you might even find that your spells start taking on a certain likeness to each other. You start casting spells in mm -hmm. similar ways. Constructing them in a manner that is, well, your own signature. So, with this spell, how are you approaching it right now? We talked about different approaches to things. Um, What's your current approach? Mm, the latest adjust, adju adjustments I've been making was um, similar to this when I did the water bolt and store uh, lightning bolt together. Um, I seem to do better when I attach an evocation, like words, you know, etc., to something. So mm -hmm. while feeling it is something I have managed to do slightly with this for example um i've been slowly attaching words <coughs> to the methods that i'm getting so sure. that's where i'm at i'm basically trying to create an evocation to invoke the spell using the few things that i was able to feel along the way because i find that when i add a verbal component to things hmm. it becomes easier to do if that makes any sense uh, hopefully that answers right. your question As of right it now, the does most recent thing and I... in fact keep talking come with me we're going into the lecture I took hall. things a little too literal <laughs> i got to the point where i've uh as we walk out <clears throat> hmm. continue the most um recent thing i've been trying is i'm taking Pro professor selane's advice regarding blood flow a little too serious maybe but um I've been conjuring, well, we're forming um, a small heart, basically right. out of water, 
If I if I put that heart in the water, I can control the water within a certain radius. Uh, however, if if again nothing that I've created or part of me is touching the water, I cannot <clears throat> maintain a connection. So I basically, am, I don't know, I'm trying not to cheat. I feel like I'm cheating in a way because it's well I, I can't control it from a distance. So well, let's break but. this down in a way that maybe you'll understand. If we look at it from a psychological standpoint, it sounds like you're mm -hmm. still stuck with the same problem only approaching it in a two-step process. Now, while this might work, you're still going to have that bar to entry for manipulation. You want to actually break down. Mm -hmm. You don't need the training wheels. But, if the training wheels help, and you're finding use of them, then continue doing it. But let's keep going. <clears throat> All right. I'll try to pick up the pace, since the classroom is so far away. Understood. Which classroom are we heading to? Uh, just one of the lecture halls. The rumbling in the stadium is something else as well. <laughs> I just need a more suitable place for this kind of conversation. Understood. Oh, fair enough. Hey, Rex, you wouldn't have happened to see yeah. Nagi. Uh, no, I haven't seen anyone since I was down at the docks. <clears throat> for the 50 months. <clears throat> All right. We're going to need to do something that we haven't really... Okay. I noticed that they haven't gone over, but we are going to do something that's very common in spell creation. All right. We're going to write it at longhand. Very well. <clears throat> so, let's view this chalkboard. I'm standing back here, sir, due to the carpets. But I, if, I'll stand here. This will work. I don't mind. It's both just you and I here. So, we, have, we have this empty canvas, this chalkboard. This is our spell. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to cast this spell, this box. This, this, this is our spell. All right. And to do so, All right. every spell has its basic components, right? So. Are we talking when for breaking things down the rune? Crafting, basically? We're going or are we to, talking more? We're going to stay away from the runes, and we're going to just break it down okay. with words. Words just correlate to runes, right. anyways. It's just that's what I'm more familiar with. Uh, yes, fair so enough. You told me that that's what you're familiar with, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, I had a lot yes. of training for wizard type stuff, so right. But you you know the basics. You know your elements. You know where mm -hmm. the foundations do come from. So, what's your first element? Uh, what are we casting? What are we trying to do? What are we trying to accomplish with the spell? Mm, that's where I've been. Um... Mixing back and forth between if it's a transmutation or a conjuration type of spell. Um, because Throw that I'm out familiar the with abjuration, etc. The best thing to do. Mm -hmm. when so you're thinking, are you thinking affinity element then, sir? I'm just making sure I'm. Because the element Obviously. has two definitions. I was just making sure. Why don't we actually step away from that? Even go even more abstract. What are we trying to do with this spell mm. first? The spell is attempting to do what? Um. So the spell is attempting to um, create movement. So movement, I guess, would be at least the bare minimum. Because without movement, right. everything else in the spell wouldn't exist. So movement and manipulation of said mm -hmm. element. Correct? Yes. Okay. So So whether this be water or whatnot, it, the flow needs to be movement. Correct. So that's the most important step. You're breaking it down. Perfect. So we have this first piece. So we insert element here, and element is our changing variable. But we know we want it to do mm -hmm. this. So how do we accomplish this? So now let's break mm -hmm. this further well, down. Okay. Um, one of the other steps that, a, a real, at least the original one that I'm having the more difficult part is, I can do the movement. It's the um, the remote part, meaning it needs to be um, 
separated from me. Like I said, when I create the movement, if I'm in contact or something I've created is in contact with the water, I'm still able to create the movement. But when I am no longer in contact with the water, I lose the ability to control it at a distance or remotely, I guess. Is that a good word for it? I'm right. not sure of another word. So let's look at this in two ways. Let's say we have two spells now. All right. Manipulation right. and movement of said element. Manipulation and movement of said element. The first one, the requirement is you have to touch it. Second one, mm -hmm. you can do from a distance. Now, what is the difference between these two spells? You're referring to the movement in the um, first spell that is the touching part? Correct. Both are basically the same exact spell. create the movement either way. Well, it's it, well. It doesn't have the the physical contact is the thing that's the difference. Right. Everything else remains the same. So, if that is something that sh is built in, mm -hmm. why is it the way it is? Now let's break this down. We find that if we are touching something, it's easier to transfer energy. Is it not? S standard physics, uh, right? Cause at and least effect. for everything. If I give a but little bit of cause and effect, and right. A little bit of energy transfer. Or if you rub your feet on a, car a carpet, we can't do that right. little zap unless the contact happens. Right, right, all right. So we, we have this. At its basics, we can do this without much additional steps. The spell just kind of works. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, for this one, yes. it doesn't just kind of work. We've just stepped away. We're no longer manipulating it directly. So how can we get around that? Yeah. I've been getting around it by creating something that is still touching it, yet I, it ori originated at the original, uh, which is me. Uh, the origin is me. So I'm. T it's like I'm still touching it because I'm touching it with something that was touching me at one point that I created. Right. So it's an extension of me. Does that make sure. sense? That's, that's the way I've been getting around it. That's how I've been able to do the second step or the second spell. Um, he, like, uh, like Which is still basically earlier. an extension of the first one. Yeah. If I create something like this and I put it in the water, I, I can still do it even though I'm no longer touching the object that I created, but I created it from me. So, right. While you're adhering to mm, yeah. the rules. Makes sense. Yeah. But, um... Continue, sir. Right. So we want to get away from that. Right? We want to step past this. Yeah, because I feel like I might end up working myself into a position where I can never get to another step because I well, use again, a handicap or a crutch. The... These are two different spells. If you stay within the first spell, mm, which you okay. are, you can't get to the second spell. It's a completely different spell. So how do we get here? Yeah. Right. So. Well. Manipulation and movement. You are... Mm -hmm. What you've tried is manipulation and movement of physical object or something that you've created to use, correct? I mean, let's just, we're just breaking it down fundamentally. Yes. Okay. Yes. How else can we apply any sort of pressure? Or so force? how else can we get to the second spell with, how else can we? How can we get to the source without throwing an object at it? using crude terms so uh, the only thing that pops in my head is um almost like if i if i could convince myself that i'm touching it even though i'm not right okay it might now now explore this because now now, um, now what does that mean if you convince yourself oh, wait, that you kinda, are convincing you kind of give me an idea right now there mm -hmm. are Many things with our world, right? You are, you are familiar with uh, wavelengths, particles. I'm familiar with uh, a co bunch of different concepts. Uh, in fact, I just kind of had a bit of a heated discussion with Ida regarding positive and negative charges and lightning and stuff. But I'm going to research that later. But, but uh, if that's what you mean by concepts, those are kind of where I'm at. So you have some fundamentals. Good. Yes. Right. So... I bring this up because, as I said in my magic lectures, magic is 
basically the manipulation of our world rules, physics, laws. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if we know those laws, we can manipulate those laws. Well, to a point. We have to work within the rule sets. Yes. But we can exploit certain things. Now, how do we do this? So you said something, right? Now, the words are crude. Yes, the movement. But getting on the same wavelength or understanding, say, a frequency or working with an element. When you work with an element, do you feel that you can sometimes mm, understand it? Oh, that's a weird way to say it. Not mm, become one. I would say the water more... a lot more, but... Right. Well, because that's what you... Lightning. Are. Yeah. Right. It's well, we're also different. made up of water more, so... It's true. Maybe it's because I'm more... more I don't know. Because um, something you said... Uh, <laughs> fundamentals, you gave me... Uh, I realized something. It's like a, maybe it's because of the way I mm -hmm. process things, the fundamental. So, theoretically, like, I put my fingers together, right? Mm -hmm. They're not touching. They look like they're touching. But... Mm -hmm. If you think about it, at the very base level, right. nothing's touching because right. of the way think positive and negative charges and neutrons, you know, you all the more? fancy science mumbo jumbo. At the end of the day, nothing is actually touching. So if I could. So even though I'm putting an object in the water, I'm not actually touching it. So how do we get around that? It's just I think I'm touching it. It's simple for us. Uh, we use mana to reach out. Tr true. No. Okay. How 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 much have you used or tried to project your mana? Um, unless it's taking shape of something, um, no more than the distance between us. Because, for example, if I create a lightning bolt or a water bolt, the second it leaves me, it's no longer part of me, and it's just being propelled by the force I gave it. Um, at least that's how I think about things, so... I'm getting stuck where I, it's it's almost like I'm getting stuck in these spells because my the way I think about things is preventing me from seeing more. Does that make sense? So I could put a water wall to protect you, sir, right, right around you, but I can leave the room and it'll be here. But once I get a good 30, 40 meters away, it'll pretty much blip out because I'm not able to give it man anymore at that distance. Same with the ward spell from Abjuration. Um the only time I can connect to anything far, far away would be um, when I do a weapon binding spell. If I bind to a weapon, it takes about an hour. But when I summon my weapon to my hand, those weapons are actually back at my home, all the way in uh, the Everdes, at the vineyards. The maids keep, they're just in the room there. I, and how did I, you I bring them to me. Um, well, there was training when I was younger. We um, learned how to weapon bind. I can weapon bind up to two weapons. Um, the way it works is, I basically, I got to take care of the weapon for a long period of time until it, or I, like, I, I got to treat it like a kid. I almost like a surrogate. I got to give it a name and I got to take care of it. I got to polish the weapon every day, take care of it, mentally give it a, that's how the training started. Like I had a little dagger when right. I was in training. So you're familiar with um, this. And you, you know yes, what, what however, to do then. But, yeah. So with this. You so have... I bring it here and then I send it back. All right. If I do it right. I know what you need to do for your start. If you're willing yeah. to try. Okay. Now, what you do f from this starting point is up to you. But it's very, very common practice. You've seen many, many Matrix right. Wizards do this. Forming okay. an element between their hands. Right? All right. And like, when, when just you, do you want me to create water right now, or you're you just giving me an example? Do so. Oh, yeah, I can. Are you um, able to? Yeah, well, yes, I've been. That's uh, let's just, uh, okay. yeah, like water, right? So, now you, all right, you yes. have it. Now, yes, slowly move your hands away from it, but keep it the same shape and form. Now you'll notice it gets As harder. As I'm keeping it floating here. Yes, it'll be yeah, harder. Yeah, I, I feel yep. a tug. If I go this far, mm -hmm. I feel a tug. So right. 
So what you're gonna? Because I've never been. <sighs> okay, continue. I don't want to overthink it. Yeah, I feel a tug when I get any further in either direction. So this takes practice. And I'm almost... Patience. Yeah. And concentration. So you need to slowly learn yeah, to I, move your hands wider far. and wider. Oh, there, uh, ah. Yeah, and then I lose it. If I set it down, though, it's like because my mind knows it's not like holding itself up. It's because I'm not holding it up with mana anymore. I'm just leaving it. It does. It's like a breakdown in my thought process is where I'm getting stuck, I think. However, this conversation has given me some interesting insight regarding... Because I never thought about the weapons. Because I theoretically, the fact that I'm pulling something from so far away, just because there's an attachment to it, a connection that I have to form first. Right. But if I have to do that to water or the ocean or whatever, let's say to push a boat or create weather, there's... The uh, things around us, uh, air doesn't really have a physical body to attach myself to. But now I'm overthinking it again, so. Oh, you were saying, if I, yeah, I would that's say actually not too no different. Touching it and then when I pull it. Immerse yourself. I'm not trying to rush it. Um, I've been working on it for a good while now, but. Well, I don't mean rush I it. I just know that. No uh, pun intended. Just immerse yourself in it. Just uh, get to know it. I was, yeah, I was thinking that way. I, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I was thinking when we were walking from the boat, I was like, well, if I'm in the water, then I'm able to move it, but. <sighs> right. So. The second I leave the water, I got to get more familiar with water is what you're saying. More familiar. Understand Just one better. of the many things. Okay. And you need to obviously expand. Now, I can only pose questions. How I would approach this problem would be completely probably different than what you would do. But I'm just mm -hmm. showing you how I would break down the problem and how I would try to solve it myself for myself. But see, for me, I would do very similar approach. But um, I would also make use of certain tools. Those can also be beneficial. Okay. But those can also hinder. But I think... That's where I was afraid of. That's why I approached you about the question. So I was afraid to um, rely on things too much. Because, for example, let's say I became great at moving this boat around. However, I, I was doing like it that. using mm -hmm. an object. Do you want to take me somewhere and show me? Sure. I just need... Yeah, anywhere we can... I can put a little tub of water and just put a little boat on it. Um Anywhere that works for you. Oh, uh, I guess we can. We can go to the stadium uh, oh, sure. or the docks, whichever works for you. Sure. Let's uh, let's head that way. So I can create water wherever I'd like, but something to put it in. <clears throat> now. I know we mm -hmm. only touched about the f f starting point of your spell. If we were to go further, that board would be completely filled with the you know, the next steps. Of course, because after the movement, then there's uh, how much mass am I moving? Right. Because moving a tiny little object is a lot different than moving a massive one. Mm -hmm. uh, mana expenditure and everything else would be more. And there's different ways um, to approach it, so. too. There's not just one. And that's the beauty of it, right? True. Yeah. Because there could be a steady flow versus pulse of mm. a more intense pulse, and you'd end up in the same location, but uh, the way you moved the water was different. You can use waves to your advantage. Pushing and pulling of currents is very interesting. True. I guess I've only been pushing and never thought about. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. if I'm, for example, bouncing on water with a water wall, I'm always propelling myself forward. I never really. Right. If I were to turn around, I would actually do it more like a boat. I would actually rotate and then push myself in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. um, so we were heading... To, did you want to prefer the stadium or... Well, whichever would work best for you. Um, Let's do the stadium. Because uh -huh. I do have the tub in the little locker room area. Then let's do so, you know. Um, mm. you guys My chance you've seen Professor Nisha anywhere. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Uh, 
Uh, if you don't mind, I, I can go grab it. I'll push it out here, if you don't mind waiting right here for me. Well, that's quite all right. Pretty much just fill a tub with water like you see here. And then let me just leave it there. Okay. So uh yeah, I would just sit here. I've thought of so many different options, but like I said, I can't move it unless I'm in contact with it. So to give an example, if I let my water touch it, I suddenly am able to move it better. I'm able to move it in a direction. I don't think that's and let it go back. Thing. However, as you see, the second I let go, it stops responding to me. Uh, that's what I was mentioning. But if I were to create that, well, the hard idea, right? And, uh, oh, I love how it's having difficulties. But, okay, if I let that sit in here, I'm able to have a better grasp on it but if i move too far away yet again it stops moving but I, like i said something has to be touching if that were to uh, if i were to disperse that it suddenly doesn't respond anymore um, that and that's where i reached out to you about uh, um that's problem so where right if i put my foot in which i never thought of before right because I've always been touching it with like water or some other extension of me, but I've never actually was sitting in the water while doing it. Uh, but uh, yeah. Hmm. Like you said, the movement would be a different spell if I'm not touching it, which I guess I never thought about it that way. Right. I think you have the right thought process on this now. This isn't going to be a easy solution. But uh, at least yeah. you're asking the right questions. The one thing Selene said, for example, was there's moisture in the air, technically, so you're technically not any different than when you put something in the water, such as yourself. Just think about the moisture as a connection, but then you were, you were approaching the mana connection, so. I don't well, know. Let's, literal, let's look at. Literally. Let's look at rain. All right. Um, uh huh. Do. Fundamentally, do you know how rain is formed within the clouds? Um, beyond uh, heat, ca uh, heat in the sun cause it to um, evaporate, and then it eventually forms the clouds and gets too heavy, and then the clouds reach a critical mass, and it just starts falling as rain mm -hmm. um, because the humidity is too dense. <clears throat> uh, that would be my understanding of rain. Right. Now, let's talk about... frequencies do you think mm, all right. it, it carries the same as a larger body of water as a smaller body of water uh sorry was that a question can you repeat that let me just make sure i hear you better is a small droplet of water the same as a large body of water and does the origin matter um Um, well, it depends. When you say, does the origin matter, or, you mentioned frequency. Are you saying that um, a single drop is definitely different in terms of mass and size and ability to move fast because a large body of water moving at the same speed of a small drop requires a lot more energy and force um, than a small drop. Plus, with rain, rain is, it doesn't need help. It, it, it's falling because of gravity, whereas... A large body of water is staying in place because of gravity. Uh, I guess those would be the differences I could think of that answers your question. All right. I'm going to... I'm sorry for asking a million questions, but these are more to make That's you think. That's perfectly fine. I won't learn unless the... If it was to rain, and you were to weave a spell using rainwater, not a body of mm -hmm. water already fallen 
to the ground. How would you do so? How would you approach it? Oh, um... Your first thoughts, just just off the top of your head. Well, I tend to treat water. Water has been a... It's a material cost for the spells that I've casted. If I'm away from water, I usually have to exert more mana to create water. Whereas if I'm near water, such as rain, I've never treated the water nearby differently despite being rain or a so body you've of water. Only used, much always treated in the same. You've always used rain as a passive sort of increase in ability. I've used it almost as if it's a body of water. It's just there and nearby. It doesn't matter how fast it's moving. It doesn't matter what it's doing. It's just in the vicinity, so I can use it. I've never looked at it like it's different. So what would happen that if you were to question. take rainwater that was falling from the sky, combine them together, and manipulate those currents? Huh. I mean, I've created water walls with it and stuff, um, or pushed myself along. Mm, what's the difference? Is there a difference? Like, no, I, no, I don't really think there is. I mean, there, there's definitely differences, but I've never treated them as if there was differences. Right. So if they're suspended in air, regardless, you could manipulate them. Whether they are together in a pool, you can manipulate them. Correct. Uh, yeah. Right. As long as they're within the vicinity, I've been able to pull them towards me. But, as in to then use them as a material cost to fight the, just as long as they're within that, this, that, like, sphere of influence, I guess I could call it. Right, you use them for a material cost, and yet don't use them to weave spells. In a sense. I'm, well, I, well, the way I looked at it was a material cost, but it's, uh, yeah, it is technically changing form with a help from my mana to become the spell. Right. So there is a reaction in, in ch happening at some pro a point of that process. Something now, hap is happening to it to get converted into the spell. This is you converting it. Now, you don't like, even have to convert it. In fact, you can use less mana by doing so. You're keeping the rainwater in the sky, pulling them together to form a large body of water already falling to the ground. Has its uses. Okay. You then don't have to actually create the force falling down yeah. to the ground. You don't have to create what we talked about. Because it's getting that from gravity. It's already getting it from gravity. You're almost... Ooh. So, there are many things so you can do here. in a crazy way. Yeah. I'm getting... T that's some terrifying thoughts there. Right. I can turn a rainstorm in a, ma um, a flood of water bolts coming from the sky almost because... Uh, they're just coming down. It's almost like mortar fire in a weird way. I think about it that way. So... If we were to look at the droplets as, say, pathways, in this instance. Okay. We hop from one drop to the next drop. Luckily for us, they're close in relation to each other, enough for us to make a connection. You, who have a hard time making connection over long distances, would probably find it easier to make connections through droplets of rain, making hops to mm. the rain droplets, correct? So, uh, can you repeat the? Yeah, now, I started to have like a realization halfway through what you said. So theory, um, I started to lose you. Is if I smash this water? Okay. You slapped it. Yes. A bunch of water droplets you went into the sky. It created a bridge between you yes. and the water. Correct. Um. Sh yeah. For a, a a brief moment, but yes, it did. So technically, we could say. Because there was kinetic energy being forced into the water, which then propelled it towards me. Hmm. Yes, but let's not look at my applying force. I was only showing you that if there were water droplets oh, within enough, the path, yeah. then you can use them. So you're to saying if it was raining when I'm doing this training, because of my weird understanding, I you would have an easier the water time. Better. Yes. But the funnier part is, I need to learn how to control the water flow before I ironically get to the step of. of the teacher for the weather part though i think me being able to create water in the sky would be still a problem uh aka i still need to hit this step because sure maybe that other step might make this step easier but i still need to learn every element of this process like we said there are many ways to approach it okay. whatever works for you as long as hmm, true we only work with the f fundamentals that we understand of our world hmm. I guess mist could be the same way, because if 
somewhere to where to rapidly yes. evaporate the water, the air would become much more dense. Or even morning fog dew. is technically just morning dew. Yeah, hmm. I could practice start practicing more in the mornings as well, but because there's more water everywhere. The waterfall Rex. True, that's constant. Very fair. Okay. As long as I can grasp that. Though stuff. you've given me so many ideas, though, because, um... Like, when your question regarding the furthest thing I've touched with my mana, theoretically it was weapons, or still is, because right. they're far, far away, but there is a connection with, um... the ritual for summoning a weapon. But I have to go through a process. I have to become attached to the weapon or le learn uh, like a name for it or give it a true name theoretically is the way that <clears throat> I was trained about it. It's like you basically are babying it until it becomes important to you enough for you to feel a connection, um, whether it be emotional or not. For me to do that with just water in general, I could start, like you said, spending more time with water or in water. All right. Well, I do have some building blocks to work with. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I'm glad to be of service. Mm -hmm. Well, let me know how it goes. Um, we obviously need to get through some of these hurdles. I will do. And then I would really like to get you... Thanks here. for the lesson. You were close enough Regarding, uh, to yeah. get that weather mage to come talk to you. Oh, well. I look forward to meeting them and seeing how that goes. Hmm. Well, good luck in your studies. Oh, okay. Well, now I, need to make, now I need to make progress enough so that when he gets here, maybe I can already have the movement down, too. Anyway, I'll, I'll be sure to much. let you know when he is to arrive so you can be prepped. Perfect. Hmm. And that would help me. Okay, that would make sure things are ready on all my ends. Okay, thank you. Well, <laughs> and Mason, I got to talk to you later about something, but that's related. I'm going to go put this back. Sure. <clears throat> anyway. Cadets, have a good evening. Right. Right, Professor Kirk. Professor. I'll be right back, Mason. go so what do we think Kay going all crazy nutso about magic and the mysteries of life To be honest, Rex is a good, a good, um, good little student. Not really crazy, but okay. Yeah, I mean, we weren't set out to be crazy. We were setting out to be a teacher. So yeah, I was, uh, I mean, the magic stuff is interesting. Trying to break down spells like that with people, well, it's supposed to be fun. I wish I had a chalkboard. You know, that would be really fun to have a chalkboard. <laughs> but, you know, the pens have always been scuffed, you know? To make my own pen. I mean, I don't know. For some reason, it sounds like a pain in the ass. Because for me, it would have been fun to write on that chalkboard, right? Because that would have made it feel like you could like circle things and like point and like, you know, look. This and this are two separate things. 
two separate sp spell one, spell two. <laughs> Requires connection, does not require connection. You can't make the hop. It'd been fun. So, for Rex to do the spell, he has to shower first. I mean, sure. <laughs> yeah, alright. I'm down with it. Cast spells in the shower. Cast spells while taking a piss. Um, ca cast... I don't even know. I'm, I'm running out of water ideas. <laughs> Piss spells. I kind of want to do some songs, but it's been a while. Do I even remember how to play? What is music? Where is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Mighty Griffin? Mighty Griffin! Kaka, motherfucker! We're trying, I'm trying to figure out how to, like, get it. Oh! Oh! Okay, I gotta, I gotta, like, I gotta, like, bow myself here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, like, right. so, uh, crouching okay. is walking, prone is death, yeah. and then, yeah, standing is flapping wings. Nutters, basically. Kaka, motherfucker. Kaka! What you guys doing? Yeah. Um, I was just gonna take a small break from Arashi, maybe just fly around with this for a minute. Cute. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. No, Arashi polymorphed herself. In it. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> she is now Griffin, and she's flying with her homies. Well, time for an execution. Polymorph is illegal. Oh, Jesus. Execution! Polymorph is illegal? Off with their heads! That's why we limit to glamour potions. <sighs> Polymorph is broken as shit. Alright. If Harry Potter used it, if Harry Potter actually world building accounted for it, literally nobody would ever get convicted of any crimes because Polymorph is stupid. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, you, but, know, you know, JK Rowling took like two seconds to think of everything in her story, so. It yeah. doesn't, it doesn't matter. It made millions of dollars. Okay, who's laughing now? I'm dead. Oh my god. No! Rip. Okay, I'm trying, I'm just trying to get it to work. <sighs> okay, for the record, I like Harry Potter, okay? Even if some people don't don't like it and like berate it and stuff, I like Harry Potter. Okay, all right, I still do. All right, me do, me do, me do. <laughs> it's music time. Yeah, but did they have a vampire singing b bard? No. <laughs> ha. A uh, fucking missed opportunity, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. I gotta find, like stuff oh no I remember to... <sighs> um. 
I mean, I liked it. I liked the, what is it that, uh, what is it? Shit. The competition one, you know. You know, the one with the dinosaurs. The Triwizard Tournament. Alright, you can go some. Fuck you, Tats. Kick your ways. <laughs> Alright, how do I. Game. Game on. There we go. Yeah. Chipu, ready to rock. Oh, where's my shit? Oh! Check. Chook. Oh, God. So, oh, it's be so in. Oh, God. No! I can do this. I believe in me. There we go. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Crazy honey, I don't care you say. Uh, oh, did I just crash? You never should be. No? Hello. Check. Oh no, there you go. You thought. Ugh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. I just wanna fucking. I just wanna play music, but like, Chad just wants. It's <sighs> fucking. Not worth. Come on. Alright, come on. You gotta be shitting me, dude. There we go. Get up in this. Get up in this. Now we wait. Kaka, motherfucker, I'm just trying to sing a song. Well, what's up, guys? Fucking chillin'. Maybe I just do it here, you know? 
Hey, where, oh, where am I? Where, where, where? Oh my god. I'm tired. Why am I? I'm tired, Chad. Why? Save me. Somebody save me. Okay, I can't get in. Um, Comp. And we wait. Yay! Oh my god, what was I gonna say? My brain, dude. Little late, fur my man. Uh, there's, that's where I left her, my baby. My baby, my baby, my baby, cheap baby, baby, barbecue sauce, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm doing it now. There. Alright. Check it, check it, check. Check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check. Check, check, check. All right, let's do this. Um, okay. I do song. What song, though? What song do? Yeah, I can do that. I do beat it ba ba do. Okay, I gotta. First of all. Oh, 
don't care. It's whatever. We alive. We here. How do music? Do I remember? I guess we'll find out. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just wanna rip all my hair off. Jesus. Uh oh. This trap. Oh, fuck. How did you get out of there? I don't even get back in there. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, man. The head strap came out, and now I don't, I can't put this on. <laughs> uh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Uh, okay. I have my fucking hair in the way. I can't see. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I don't... Okay, whew, I got it. I think. Yeah. Fuck. I took an act of God. Oh. Shit balls. Holy fucking shit. Close your eyes.
da da Don't do it. Okay, yeah, what was the next one? Where's my water? Water! Sheesh! Okay. As we die, slowly, in the valley of death. Holy god, okay. As I look through and we look at some stuff, I'm thinking... Oh my god, we haven't... Uh, yeah, of course. We gotta do the song. I mean, this is our song for the tree. The tree song. We should just literally rename it the tree song.
Up to the sounds, the silence that allows my mind to run around, my ears up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told. My back is to the boot, and I'm smiling when I turn. I tell you, you're the greatest. Once you turn, they hate us. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy I'll Spare the sympathy Everybody wants to be my enemy
<clears throat> I haven't done this one in a while. Simple question, really. What would I do without your small mouth? Drawing me in and you're kicking me out. Got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? 
I'm on your magical mystery ride And I am so dizzy Don't know what it means But I'll be alright My hands underwater La 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 uh, he Um I don't know what I wanna do. Shit. Fuck Alright, um I do many things, but what do I want to do? That is the question. Holiday, sure, on holiday. Oh god, I gotta get the hype for this one. Alright, holiday. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not doing the like scatting part. I'll try. I'll fuck it up. Whatever, we'll do it eventually. <laughs> Ooh. 
What if this was a slow song? Man, I'm gonna bastardize it. Here we go. Can't say that word. Trial fire, setting fire. It's already that way. It's meant to be. Ah! See, I had to add that there because of some of these words we can't say. I've been to Shimmer, 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 shimmer
You know what I kind of want to do? Uh, what is it? Where is it? No. I want a song, but I don't know what. But I'm kind of sweating, so maybe I should stop. I don't know. Oh. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Hold on. My classic. She doesn't know where to go, but she's got left two feet. Who knows what to do goes? She goes, what come on you? Come on here, baby, and then come with me. We'll go have a dance and see what happens, please. Earkeeper, ooh, not wearing any clothes. Earkeeper, I don't know how this is gonna go. Are you gonna... <laughs> Shout or you get excited. Take me out or get me out. Yeah, wait, I give me a what? Give me a what, what rhymes with excited? Give me a give me a give me what excited? Give me a What could she give me that rhymes with excited? I don't know. I'll have to figure this one out. <laughs> she makes me delighted to keep her when she's not wearing any clothes. Is it a crime if I look? I don't know. Am I blind? I'm not a crook. She just chose to not wear any clothes, so I look. I'm just man. So let's go to the back of the room. Wait, no. <laughs> this song has been <laughs> Alright, we gotta we gotta we gotta get this down. Ear keeper. Ooh, she not wearing any clothes. Ear keeper. Ooh. Nobody knows how she's feeling on the inside. Will you know if you ask her what she's about? No, you don't know if you <laughs> The danger of your prop music. I'm not saying anything wrong, am I? I don't even remember what I said. See, that's a beauty. I never remember. I'm not held responsible if I don't remember. <laughs> I complete ignorance. <laughs> but you said it. So I don't know. Inkeeper, you're not wearing any clothes. Inkeeper. Does anybody know? Do you cry at night? Do you fall asleep night? Do you cry yourself? Does anybody care, air keeper? Ooh. All they see is your exterior. They don't ask how you're doing on the inside, but they don't care, do they? Mm. Wait, I just stuck on. Babe! Do, 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do oh okay oh she's got she's got she's got big class big big she's all ready to go baby big big lots of class <laughs> Big, lots of class, I don't know how to act. What's she doing to not be a keeper? <laughs> I gotta remember that. <laughs> Sorry, it started coming to me. Wait. I... <laughs> All right. We gotta, we gotta, we really gotta make this into the single, man. I, 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 it's begging. It's, it's really good. So I don't have a chorus. We we have a verse. We have like ad libs part, but we don't have a fucking chorus. I guess it is the chorus, isn't it? I guess. Ah, uh, whatever. What you mean across the street? You don't know what to say. What to say? They don't know how she acts going back. I know why. Better, 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 better. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm gonna get stuck in wanting to write in Keeper because. Every time I start playing it, I make a new part. All right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll sing it for you. Here we go. Innkeeper, are you dancing on them poles? Innkeeper, you should leave them to the pros. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's messed up. Sorry. Innkeeper. What the fuck? You just kind of sneak up on my, my, my hobbit hole? Oh, it's not your hobbit hole, it's hers. But I get it. My hobbit hole? I'm hiding from my dad, he's chasing. Yeah. Found you, you little shit. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows that I made this song. I don't know if I will get in trouble or not. Hey, keeper. Oh, Chippo is in trouble. Keeper. Oh, she's 
What are they doing? Living my life. Alright, let's get you out of the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Among the daughters. Okay. Um, hello? I don't know what that little shit said to me, but he said it wasn't my hobbit hole, it was hers. Who is he pointing to? Who are you talking about? Bitch, that tree bestowed upon me its wood. Don't tell me that I haven't received its, its blessing. It smacked me with its wood. Right in my face. I have a scar. Checker Rooney's. All right, where is everybody? Hey. Hello. Ah. Okay. Move. Oh, no. I have no idea I mean, just because I can. I mean, no one's gonna get me in trouble but myself. <gasps> Finally, I can do my homework. And by the way, I noticed everyone uh, found the uh... shit okay. No complaints, I take it. Hmm, how am I? Hmm, how am I? Bye. 
SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't need my man, I know. Where is everybody? Mm. Okay. Hmm. The flower students. Oh. I see a student. What portal are you going to, student? Blue portal. I just saw somebody. So I was like, what's going on? First sign of life I've seen in a bit. Oh, fair. You've not been in the main hall for food? Is that where everybody is? Yeah, dinner bell rang a while ago. Damn it! I missed dinner! the situation and her kindness and her normal flirtatiousness which she is with anybody she's over here he's over here there you go okay so i didn't get to write the griffin at the ball i'm gonna still write the griffin now it will depend a bit on if it's uh, around still. It uh, might have flown back off to the coop, but I can see. No. We can go check at least. They can make the call of the griffin to see if it comes down from its. Hi, roof. chips. Hi. I know it was. It was roaming around. Well, okay, I'm seeing everyone have these bottles around. What is? What is he drinking no. now? Are you drinking a plot of yeah, you support drinking? friend? Well, mine is uh, for homework in? later. Yeah, it's uh, homework. Yeah, this Liquid one. Liquid knowledge. Yeah, pretty much. See, I got, I got. It got dark. It did. Oh, good. <clears throat> Comp, I can be the Griffin. All right, I will uh, let them know. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Do are you calling me stupid? Hey. I, uh, talked to Professor. Oh. Uh, he's getting the griffin. I don't know if you wanted to keep this drink. <gasps> oh, is that why he ick veered disappeared? I wasn't, uh, I wasn't trying to. Something like that. Drink away. I'll just put it he, back. he temporaled, but he'll, uh, he's getting the griffin. He'll be, he'll be back shortly. <sighs> and, and yes, please, please leave it here. But, uh, I have to go to the restroom, so protect it. I really wanted some. 
Well, you guys can I drink I some. I left it up there. I thought you were being just, you know, a, a filthy little little object lever. I mean, it, 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 if... I'll be back. I'm at spawn if you need me uh, as a griffin. Question. What's up? If I have a bunch of shit in my inventory, yeah, and I, I crash, yeah, is, just it, is it just staying in the uh, normal object pool? Oh yeah, you don't need to worry about it. All those are is just logged. Yeah. Just, just view it as locally logging a new spawn button, and then once you go, they just destroy themselves and they don't exist. Yeah, so everyone, everything's part of the same item pool. It's yes, just, yeah, it's all part know. of the same thing, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're starting where? Uh, Probably the hot springs and then fly in from there because it's like over the mountains, air quotes. All right. <clears throat> oh. All right, looks like nobody's here. Oh. Oh. All right, you on? Yep. I just there we go. <laughs> That's you it. Look All right. In front of the school, there's more. Mm, looks like red and green to me. Ah. Thankfully, they were still awake. Ah, rain. Sorry, I feel so bad. I just, you oh, know, wanted to try. Do I come over here? Oh, just, um, so let me. 
Check the saddle. Pull down the strap. Ah. All right, so you should be able to put your foot in that, and that'll help you pull yourself up onto it. <laughs> Are you two gonna ride together, I'm or just Norali and... I said I was also going to ride, did I not? Yeah, come on! I was wondering if you were gonna ride alone or not. Uh, let's no? see, I guess we'll just do it like we did the... Uh, for the ball, so... Uh, basically just laps around the... Laps around the building and then... Uh, be back in... About five minutes. Alright, remember they buck. Yeah, yeah. Okay! Uh, you can buckle the straps in so you don't fall if you need. And if you, um. If there's any cause How do I do issues, that? uh, you will just be brought back here, so don't worry about it. You won't actually okay. fall 600 feet to your death. Okay! <laughs> it's always reassuring. Coretta, make sure that isn't Probably. the broken belt buckle. Huh? If it was the broken belt buckle, I'm sure they would have replaced it. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, my tummy! I've got butterflies. Oh, hold on tight. I am! <laughs> oh, we're so high up. I believe we're about eye level with that tower over there. Mm. Is that the lighthouse? I think so, yeah. Wow. Who? Every so often, the ring gets splashed back into you by the wings. We're <laughs> <laughs> we're at the dorms. So this is your guys' view when you fly in. I'm kind of jealous. Not to look backwards. That's a little nauseating. Ooh. Ooh, wow. You can really feel them like work their muscles when they flap. Especially if you're up here closer to where their shoulder blades are. Mm. You are a very strong flyer. <laughs> and here we're coming upon the library, I believe. Yep, that's the library already. And what? <laughs> oh, that was such a drop! Oh, my tummy! <laughs> I thought I was going to land for a moment there. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'll get down Ooh. first. Yep. <sighs> Thank you so much. You are amazing, Flyer. 
gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is he asleep? Oh shit, my medic. Or. The cat is not on fire. Hopefully not, but the I, I don't see anything. It's too dark. Yeah, it's it's oh. even I have night vision and it's okay, really so dark. Okay, to be fair, if something blew up, we would probably be able to see it in the dark, which means it's probably fine. Regardless, oh. we shouldn't assume so. If you're if either of you would like to, I'm going to check it out. I have to check it out. I'm a prefect and medic. Thank you. Bye. Right, she can go rest now. And thank you, Professor. It's almost, it's almost like he's doing a bow. Bye. <laughs> and then as a griffin, it's time. We take off!
Yeah, you gotta be shitting me, dude. Alright boys, well, not the best way for everything to go down, but uh, not the worst way either. I mean, I was probably going to hang out for another 30, um, but that just kind of cut it short. There's no point in going back in, so, fuck. Ah, but, it was a fun little night. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, definitely, it was just a fun, chill day, you know? Just a fun, chill day. Um, we didn't do a whole hell of a lot, but it wasn't necessary. We were just kind of chilling. An actual chili. The cake. Oh, I forgot about the cake class. Yeah, the cake class was was all right. I I'm I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh. All right, guys. Thank you, Pretty Burb. Thank you, Kyle Kata. Thank you, everybody, for the subs today. Thank you for the loves. I love all of you. You're digging the Innkeeper song? Hell yeah. We'll keep working on it. It'll be the perfection. All right. Good night, everybody. See you later. <laughs>